Dylan Mulvaney, everyone. Dylan Mulvaney. Where's the uh, applause sound? I don't have it. Do we have applause? Uh, no. Just. <laughs> no applause. Just laugh. Well, I'm pretty sure YouTube won't like that much. Also, uh, didn't I regulate you to using the radio voice? Well, uh, let me get back into the studio. I had so many things to get handled. I needed to uh, situate it, but let me get it back in the studio. All right, boss. In the studio. Much better. All right. Uh, what's today's show about? Because I don't know or care. Well, we've got a, a jam-packed show today full of quality content, a.k.a. total fucking cringe. Uh, King Cobra, JFS, breakup, makeup. What's going on over there? We'll find out. Uh, well, let's you. just hit one now. Like, don't oh, tell oh. people before it happens. All right. You got to go. trick them into staying. If you sit there and tell them all the garbage we're listening to, they'll probably be like, oh, man, this fucking sucks. Why is there an echo? Where are your headphones? How about that? Is that better? One, two, three. I still hear myself in the background. Fuck it. All right, give me today's first piece of garbage. Oh, God damn it, it's Cobra. Hold on, I'm going to go get more drugs for this, man. YouTube, so I'm officially done with Jessica naked and laughing because she's going on stream. She's going on stream saying I have an ego and, oh, I'm just so ugly. Poor me, wham. And it's like, you know what? Jessica's a little too emotional for my taste. I'm sorry. Okay, I tried to make it work, but she wants to spin the tale how she's going to spin it. That's her deal. But when she was sitting there drinking on camera and going, well, Josh has an ego. I'm like, yeah, no, I don't. I don't need my trolls help to get laid. You know what I'm saying? I'm King Cobra JFS. Everybody in this goddamn town knows who the fuck I am. I walk into a fucking bar and I got chicks checking me out, dude. Girl, I do not have a fucking ego. When I was talking to her, and I wasn't being mean about it, but I did call her out on her shit without being mean about it. She would get so fucking mad and she would threaten to break her phone and not go live again. And I'm like, that affects nobody, honey. But like, no, Jessica wants to sit there and say, I have a fucking ego right, let's and this and that. I'm like, Jessica no. losing her mind. No, I don't. Like, let's She's get to the good stuff. I don't care if Jessica's the goth chick of my dreams. I don't She's first in mind. It's really kind of sad, Plus, to be honest. I got to give people a fucking, like, I have to explain to them what the hell is going on. Because if you don't watch King Cobra, which you probably don't because you have a normal life. King Cobra is a dude with like mega autism, like super size autism. He makes magic wands. He used to have a lizard called Puff. That's that thing is over there. The golden thing that looks like a dog. The lizard's dead. All right. Most likely. Puff. Yeah. Rip Puff. Like <laughs> Cobra's like, I think my lizard went outside because he was scared and burrowed underground to survive the winter. I like, nah, this dude probably killed the fucking thing by mistake, though. Now he's got, like, this chick after him. I guess her name's called Jessica. I don't fucking know. All these drugs are so fucking bad. These edibles are all over my tongue. Uh, she is the epitome of a woman that waited too long to get anything going in her life. She's, like, 40. She looks like she's 60. She's mentally unhinged. And she keeps saying she thinks Cobra's hot. She started a GoFundMe to come see him. I wish we had pictures of that. Point being, their relationship lasts, like, 24 hours. So they break up, they get back together, then they break up again, and she goes nuts. I watch her live streams. She gets blitz face, blitz face drunk, and she just starts throwing out, like, uh, homophobic slurs one after another, smashes shit. It's a good time. Uh, this is not getting to the good stuff, though. Let's fast forward to her just ripping ass. <laughs> Should call you Mr. Krabs, Krabby Patty, Kitty Cat. Mm, don't ask how I am. You're not gonna like my answer. Uh, it's so funny when you never hear back from people. 
you try to have a conversation. Oh, it's just one sided. That's cool. One sided conversations are what I live for my whole life. <laughs> I don't want a ham sandwich. I'll, I'll take your ham sandwich and fucking kick it across the fence. Ooh, free ham sandwich. Mm. Mm, she's a nut job. Y'all think I'm a nut job? Okay. <laughs> think what you want. You haven't seen her in full action. Oh, that's what happens when you're indoctrinated and have cognitive dissonance. Duh, stupid. You want something from me? You're gonna have to pay me. Hmm. What do I need green gun? Made with love. No, what does I that mean? Them. You sound stupid. All right, just pause it. I should have made my own super cut when she just starts cursing and smashing stuff. Basically, they got back together after this, and as a sign of love, King Cobra sent her a Wendy's chicken, no, uh, Baconator, something Baconator like that. And chili. I got to give it to King Cobra. Like, this dude is doing everything in his power not to see this woman because it would be detrimental to his fucking health. When an autistic man can look at a normal woman and go, yeah, this is not for me. Like, what a mess this chick is. Holy high hell. Speaking of messes, guess who got removed from the partner program on his clip channel? Me. YouTube has hit me for uh, stealing my own content again. I wish oh, I was joking. That reminds me. The uh, clip channel... We need to post pin that in the chat because it's already we need pinned. some help. It's pinned. Please sub to the pin to the to the clip channel because YouTube hates us. It, it hates me. YouTube doesn't know who you are. It hates Gundam. God damn it! I hate this job. It's the worst job ever. I wish I was back on a loading dock. Those are the good days. A guy would just show up to work drunk and work his section of the fucking factory warehouse whatever it was those are good times not like now not like watching king cobra and trying to make sense of him then i never have enough time to do super cuts of anything so we could just get to the meat and potatoes of the insanity it's always kind of like we're just randomly getting into shit endlessly all right let's see this lunch she's got thank you for the gifted random membership bacon oh sensei 405 Okay, hello everyone. I cannot bullshit with this video. Um, Bro, did you comment on? This okay, good. <laughs> is sponsored, yes, sponsored by none other than Lord King Cobra JFS himself. Lord, now you can already see when I upload the thumbnail. Well, he owns his own place, so he's like a land baron. And I'm sorry, it's kind of dark in here. The lighting is not at its utmost. Josh got me Wendy's. He got me the pretzel, the double pretzel baconator, no ketchup. I did not ask for this. I did not ask what for this. What a fucking Josh charming a man. Sweetheart. He is Went so great. So Super I'm sorry size. that I'm not cooking what I'm supposed to be cooking tonight, but hey. Yes, it was DoorDash, Josh. Bill. That's a joke, Josh. It's a joke. Don't take it so serious, baby. I mean that in the sweetest way. <laughs> like, oh my god, she's so happy. So here we go. I'm sorry the lighting is whatever, but you know I can't keep waiting for it to get cold. It's so. not the lighting, honey. You know, uh, come on, honey. Let's pause it here. Okay. It, it's taking too long to get this shit. Her best stuff is honestly when she's just shit face drunk and she's arguing with her mother. Her mother's in the background, like, you know, and she goes, you yeah, fuck, stupid. She looks like this. You yeah, stupid. God, you stupid. I didn't ask to be here. I didn't say I want to be here. Oh, my God. It's just so shitty here. And then she starts calling her chat members F words. She's, Josh is out there with these fucking dirty gutter sluts. And he can have his gutter sluts. And apparently, like. King Cobra is a subscriber to OnlyFans, 
which you know makes sense. He's got autism. Um, he's got botulism. Uh, his hair is falling out. I like saw his foot a day ago, and it looked like he had like some sort of disease on it, and his toes were like black, but not from nail polish, which is really weird to see a human being with like like little talons on his feet, and they're just so dirty. And so it makes sense he has OnlyFans because you know you want to watch some chicks pound off because the odds that you're getting anywhere near those types of women is slim and next to none, unless you work in a morgue. Which I would suggest, because it's probably the only way you might touch an attractive woman that died. Wait, that got dark real quick. Uh, pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> Let me see some of these starred messages. Elijah W. for $10. Can you make these things pop up on the screen? Sure. If it wasn't for my favorite problematic YouTube, God bless you, sir. How'd you do that? Thank you for the $10, by the way. I totally zoned out. I have been taking these edibles, right? I went to the, uh, whatever. I went to the dispensary, and there's this Hindu kid there. And uh, I'm like, dude, give me whatever will fuck me up. And he goes, okay. So he gives me these, like, things. They look like lightsaber. No, not lightsabers. Uh, lifesavers, but they're, like, gummies, right? I took one, and it fucked me up so bad. I thought I was dying, bro. Like, I was in bed. And I was, my heart was going crazy. I'm like, oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. So I immediately made sure that I told my mother that I want all my money to go to Fluffy. You know, because that's in writing. And I told my assistant that I'm sorry for fucking up their life. And that I passed out. So, of course, the responsible thing to do would be to start the stream incredibly late. And then try the drugs again. But this time I take it in little increments. I slice them up like a little cake. I got my knife and fork here. And I do them in little pieces. And I take one periodically through the stream. So that I don't overdose too early. And then completely spaz out on stream. When I'm supposed to be leaving. Leaving. Supposed to be reading Swiss's $5 chat. That's blank. That's the type of message I like to see. He's like, I don't have shit to say to you here. Take my money, you stupid fuck. And I'm like, thank you, sir, for calling me stupid. Uh, Darken, not now, Fluffy. That's me beating the table. It's me beating the table. Don't skip my super chat this time, you bigot. I will, uh, something broke. I will punish him later. Let's memester bait. I love that name. YouTube won't let me use it anymore. When you're taking, when are you taking a vacation bike down to Florida? Why would I ride a super bike to Florida? I used to ride my fucking super bike to Jersey and New York. Bad idea. It's fucking painful, dude. That's why people get gold stars or gold wings or whatever. Next super chat. Bam, bam, bam. It's not moving. Oh, it's up there. Let's mean to write this another one. I just read that one. Really? What? Oh, no, put it back. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I'm on drugs. Make a Gundam helmet to wear at cons for panels. Hell no. Actually, I already have one, actually. You know, now that you brought it up, I do have one that I can wear, but I can't see out of it. DSP historical stuttering $5. Enjoy you a bit, Gundam, but this normie paradise that is your chat isn't for me. Also hope you give proper credit to Boglum Chronicles, boy. Ah, Yes, we are on Boglum Chronicles, are we? Yeah, shout out Boglum Chronicles. That they're uh, the ones that I use most of the time with the Cobra clips, and I've got the clip for uh, Naked and Laughing beating up that lamp. Oh yeah, that's a classic. That was one of her best streams. I fucking love that one. It, that for me was like um, Revenge of the Sith when Obi Wan Kenobi is fighting uh, Anakin Skywalker. It's that level of entertainment. Brandon Johnson, Puff Puff Pass. No, dude, we're doing edibles. Because I ran out of weed. And then, like, my dealer refused to show up with my weed and mushrooms. I had a joke there, but I forgot it. Keanu Reeves is here? Oh, uh, Rihanna Reeves. Uh, oh, man. Tis the way to gain notoriety by way of the shekels. Learn, my young Padawan. 50 A's. What are 50 A's? Uh, $50? I, don't know. I highly <laughs> doubt that. That's an A in front a, of it. Maybe. It, who cares? We'll see. we'll see. Who cares? I've got 20,000 Delira here. <laughs> Hello. How's the future ex-wife? 24-7 town bike. 
kind of out of it. Rem, I can't even read that name correctly right now. Baka no Sensei 405 is gifted a sub. I caught that one. Reeves is gifted 20 memberships. That's a lot, dude. Oh, oh yeah. I think it's a lot. The Chicago box for $1.99. Bets on her last shower. Three days, Paul. I, she's losing her hair, by the way. Just like Cobra. So that's very tragic. Actually, and I'm going to pull her up while we're reading the Super Chat. So she that's probably a smart move. It, play it, play it. Get ready, chat. This is this is what a live stream should be. I need to aspire to this level of excellence. No. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, the sound effects are distracting from the action. Why is the camera going up? That's her. anymore. It's a ball lamp. It's outdated. She's still going. That's passion. That's a passionate woman. I I have nothing for that. I don't even know what to say to that. That's amazing. I just Cobra sees this shit and he's like he's got enough self preservation enough to know. To not bring her to his place. And she's always like, Cobra, uh, he could cash at me the money to fly out. And we could do a face cam to to prove to him that I'll fly out there and buy the tickets and I steal his money. Like, nah, that dude's just smart enough to realize that she's a problem. And anytime he like relaxes, he sends her some sandwiches to DoorDash, the language of love. You saw how it worked for DSP and Cat. That's why they're still together, chat. It's been five years, I think. I don't know. How long have they been married? Uh, 2018. Almost six years. Oh, oh. Don't forget their anniversary. <laughs> Joy and positivity. Like, he knew how to keep his woman. You give her DoorDash and you plump her up, she won't never leave. Because her options will be limited. And her mobility. Yeah, definitely. You know what? Oh, okay. I have a theory. Okay. The, the car wheel theory, I think it's all bullshit. I think Kat got a flat tire. And when she was trying to do it herself, she just couldn't because she's, you know, she's big. So, you know, she's not getting on the fucking ground, getting under the car and jacking up the car. Her knees have got to be bad. So then, like, she called Phil. He probably, like, got an Uber over there. I'm coming, honey. And uh, he started doing the truck of the car himself. And he probably thought while he was doing it. Let's say that trolls stole my wheel and see if I can get some money on chat. That's what I think. That's just me. Actually, we uh, I didn't want to do DSP today, but we do have a late clip that came in. Actually, the one you sent me from duty, and I've got this one. Yeah, I don't care. I'm high. I don't care. Oh, what oh, oh, Phil's fun in interaction. I love this guy. I wish I had this energy. <laughs> Uh, DSP's build is his beard is as white as snow. <laughs> Did I hear that Wings quit the Lol Cow podcast because Keem was giving his trolls a platform? Uh, someone had mentioned that a week or two ago on here that he was quitting the podcast. Man, That's somebody's quitting that podcast that every day. I literally never listened to a second of the podcast, don't know anything about the podcast, don't care about the podcast, don't want to listen to the podcast. The only the way, reason I know about it is because you guys came on here and said, are you aware that like entire episodes of the podcast are about you? And I'm like, no. They I aren't. I don't know why they would be. I'm not part of the show. I never agreed to be part of the show. I never even had a discussion about the show with anyone. Um, I don't care about the show. I'm not going to talk about the show. I think, again, what, a show like that 
What they uh-huh. want to do is they want to go- they want to talk shit to goad someone into talking about it. So now they have something to talk about on their show because they need to feed off of others to have a show. Because without feeding off the drama of others, they have no show. Because that's what happens with these drama circles. These people have no talent. So they that's me. I'm talentless. Into reactions so that they can then react to their reactions because that's how they make content. It's not like, oh, we have a show with all these interesting set topics today that we're going to cover. It's just not. Okay, when does he drama, get funny? Right? When does so, Phil smash a fucking lamp? Yeah, that's like, what I'm I here for. The bar has been set. Uh, about the show at all? I never did. People outright told me, are you aware that on the show, they're not only doing entire segments about you, but they're all saying things like, "We, Phil, we know you're... Okay, listening. pause it. Yeah, that, like, that's when does it get funny? <laughs> he calls like, out uh, Keemstar and Turkey Tom, same with the milking milking people at the end. Now, I mean, I now I've that got that clip I that just, you sent me. From now on, I only want prime grade Phil. I want gold dust. I want to see him flipping out. That's all I'm here for. Because when Phil explains shit, it gets so boring. It's just so long. I wish he just, I don't know. I wish he'd do something wild. I wish he'd be like, I show speed. And just jump into the fucking camera, dude. Do something, Phil. Taser yourself. I don't know. Wings should do that too. Like I saw Wings was saying his channel's dead. And frankly, if you want to save your channel, Wings, I've got ideas for you. If I'm paid... I will help you turn your life around. I may also kill you, though, in the process. So you got to be ready for that. But I've got plans, dude. Wings, not wings. Who the fuck is it? Boogie2988. My fault. I want to get him rock climbing. I have it. Okay, cool. I also want the grapple gun, but I need paldium to get that. Do I have paldium over here? Of course, he's playing Plaw World. Hey guys, could you shut the fuck up and stop being negative to other chatters? I mean it right now. The moment someone comes in, you already start bullying them. How about every time I see someone bully someone, I just ban you permanently? How would you like that? So either if you don't like someone and you feel like bullying them, shut the fuck up and stop and don't do it. Because if I see it, I'm going to instantly ban you. Here I am trying to do a relaxing stream and I got to watch everyone in the chat start bullying people. Fuck you. Grow up or leave. How about this? Banned, banned, up banned, shit. banned, banned, banned. Okay. That's it? So what was I doing? I was making the grapple gun. Yeah. Ah, man, I miss the old Phil who used to use racial slurs and talk about the Jews. <laughs> that was prime Phil. New Phil's pretty boring. Oh, my God. What else is going on? Um, Aiden Ross losing twice a quarter million dollars. You want to talk about that? Oh man, Aiden Ross. This again, I feel like everything he does is staged. Nobody's that dim with it. Well, I'm not gonna um actually we're gonna do the Cardi Yeah, Playboy Cardi. He had come on to uh he was supposed to come on Aiden's stream. Aiden was offering him two million dollars and a Ferrari. I he thought stayed. Bosch was fighting with Asmigol. That sounds more interesting. He called him a Nazi. Hey, Bosch calls everybody a fucking Nazi. That's about He's like Pipkin Pika. Pipkin Pippa is a Nazi to Vosh. She's like, oh, oh, they're in the chat. And they're like, oi vey, oi vey. It's Nazi 4chan dog whistling. And I'm starting to sit here and think, uh, no, I'm not going to say what I want to say because it'll definitely get me in trouble. <laughs> but I'd welcome some persecution of streamers. Can I say that? Well, if you want to see a streamer get totally scammed, check this. Out. What the hell's money. going on here? Look at that money. Look at that. It's a lot amount of money here. I got you, bro. Hold on, hold on. What? Pause this bullshit. This motherfucker's smiling ear to ear, giving a dude a bag of money to look like a cross between Darth Vader and Captain Crunch. What the hell is this? Six minutes was the only time he got on stream. That's Playboy Cardi in a mask in the dark. And Aiden giving him a quarter of a million dollars for nothing. And, and, he, and he asked for a shout out. And it's the shittiest shout out you've ever heard. Shout out to Boglin Chronicles. <laughs> shout out Boglin Chronicles. Onkite had downs and a fade. I'm out. Why the do you break right me now, this? The rappers are really taking it to the streamers right now. Because I'm glad. That nice pussy. Here we go with the pussy getting a fucked analogy from what? <laughs> Scarface again? Again? Yeah, again. 
Oh my god. Yeah, Chad is right. It does feel awkward. You're right, Twisted Jack. I don't know what the fuck this is. Now, back to me getting Boogie 2988 to enter motorcycle racing in his current physical fitness. Now, that's entertainment. All right, what else have we got? Um, I'm going to pull up the clip you sent me of, uh, what's her name? Talking about musician, magician. I forget her name. Hold on one second. I thought like you had everything uh, put yeah, together. Oh, good. Lord. Who the fuck is this? Like, I just saw some goofy ass woman say some dumb shit and I sent it to you. It's I miss Prince. Why is Prince dead? Bring back Michael so Jackson. That's why I'm interviewing you today so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? That mean? make magic or something? What is musician? I think that's, I think you're confusing that. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, I make music. I make I, music, I, I, and that's not all I do. I make music, what I do you act, do? I'm a TV star what? too, a young Who the fuck are you? I, just really quick, I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing because I, you, you don't know. I, you thought that all I was was a magician or whatever the fuck you said. See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I said musician, I not what, magician. I don't think, baby, but, I don't think. What is that? That's ghetto, I don't think. Oh, I know. Oh my God. So you, you think. I didn't say magician, Suki, I said musician. Oh, I think that's Suki. And I think you are a musician. No, baby. Get I this out of here. So you just really, Hold on one just second. really quick, for the Stop record, it. could you say you don't think you're a musician? I'm not none of that. But then after that, you just said, I do music. Yeah, I do oh, music. Oh, my brain is dying. So, in other yeah. words, you're a musician. No, I'm not. Okay. What do, what do you... <laughs> my fucking head, bro. I told you I'm on drugs. That was terrible. Give a hood black woman a platform and she will make an ass of herself given enough time. Quote me on it. Lord have mercy. Oh, that's culture, baby. <laughs> I fucking hate social media. I hate these times. Good Lord. It used to be to be a musician, you had to be able to understand the English language. You don't even need that anymore. Just show up wearing a gimp mask and hang out with Aiden Ross for six whole minutes, 250K. I'm about to put out my SoundCloud rap album. Uh, you allow that to vote? Hey, that isn't me. I didn't write the fucking laws. If you brought the suffragettes back from the dead, they'd probably be... I'm not even... Fuck it. I'm not even... What else have we got? My head is spinning from that last one. Let's spinning. ride out to the UAE to see Chile's new uh, all-woman SWAT team. Oh, no! More women in power and control. Ramos. Pause it. I just got to say this. Remember that time when um, the fuck's the name of that guy who's going to fight Hassan Piker, but Hassan ducks him? Uh, He's got the streamer Sam house. Hyde. Yeah. Hyde. Remember when Sam Hyde said, if you get pulled over by a police officer, I hope you're wearing a bulletproof vest. This is the epitome of that. Play it. Five ladies teams. Involved in the UE SWAT challenge this year. I can't wait for drafting of women. Belarus, Thailand, Chile. Two teams from the Emirates. Oh. So basically, if you're drug dealing in Chile, just get a moat with like a fucking zip line. The first one to get wet in the ice bath today. And, uh, Oh boy. Well, they are stuck in the middle of that zip line. Remember, uh, if you fall what is that supposed in the to ice bath, you have to go back to the beginning of the zip oh line and God. do it again. I hope there's no 911 in Chile. Chile. They're lucky have, nobody cares uh, about Chile. Three team members stranded in the middle of that ice bath. This is what Call of Duty will really be like. Be a little bit warmer than it was. Earlier on this morning. Just kick her in the vamos, ass. Vamos. Andale, andale. Eva. Oh my god. And it just goes to how show long you does this how, go uh, on? How important momentum is. For another four minutes. Four minutes. Boop. Boop. Oh, oh. Bloop, bloop. Three team members in the drink. Boop. Oh my god. Oh, 
This has got to be embarrassing. That's why the gangs rule, Chili. Well, forget about getting wet. Oh my God. The, uh, the violations, the major safety violations for dropping weapons. In the oh, water. they drop weapons. All right. Uh, yeah, just drag her ass back. How much you want to bet they have Instagrams so where they're posing well, and shit? Just give it up. Just scooping up the nines. Scoop up the guns for the ladies. Those, uh, weapons from the ice bath. Girls, get it done. Pause it. The next time you see a, a male celebrity talk some shit about let women lead, send them this and tell them that I said to go fuck yourself. Personally, quote me on that. Will Ferrell, go fuck yourself. This is ridiculous. We, how much more? How, are they really going to try this again? They're going to try. And it's going to take them... And um, uh, what well, you I said expect. it on a couple of occasions today that uh, if that wow. first Wow, let's member, just fast forward. Uh, Here we go. Oh, oh. He already fell in? What the fuck? Have they um, retrieved all of the equipment? Oh, oh. Jesus fucking and of Christ. Course, the added problem. <laughs> just give comes up. With, uh, Your team sucks. Those loops yeah, just, on the uh, zip line to become wet, hands gauntlet. become wet, everything becomes slippy. <laughs> <said> wet <laughs> My brain. I was thinking wet nipples. It's uh, 1.2 meters it. deep, that uh, pool, and as you can see, uh -huh. it takes a little bit of effort to get out once you've gone in. Just just hang it up. I've, this I've, is I've the seen cringe enough. version of American Ninja and Warrior. One, uh, quick thinking member of the BRT team of Chile. Yeah, I think we we got the point. Realizing that it could take a while to. So you now understand why drug cartels are just so hard to root out. I got nothing for that. That was just terrible. I would expect that from me, not trade professionals. Um, let me take a quick second. We're gonna do a couple super chats because they're starting to stack up on me again. Really. Yes. Ex bread dog who loves bread and hungry jacks. Thank you for becoming a member. Memberships all around. They're on Sa Dark Side Phil. Super Sa stickers. Sauce Sa Darko with a two dollar super sticker. Thank you so much. Craig Life with the five dollars. Cheers, Cheers Gundam. Gundam. I've been a fan since uh Gillette commercial days. Oh, I remember the first one I put out. YouTube yanked that shit down. And I had to post it again. Your videos are hilarious and informative. Keep up the great work. And Eternal Hails, I believe. Thank you, sir. Uh, Joss Keesley, you probably got that wrong for $10. Uh, Brandon K for two bucks. Reminds me when I ate a whole shroom bar. I I don't think I'd ever eat a whole shroom ever. I just don't have it in me. My body would totally kill me. God, I love you in a non-sexual way. Thank you, man of culture. Uh, Japanese Demon Lord, uh, props to Free Run Review. I enjoyed it. Thank you. I'm surprised anybody enjoyed it. I feel like people hated that. Hey, Rec1990 said $2. I know that guy. He always says it's a Gundam in everything I do. X Bread Dog, random well being checkup. How have you been? Oh, I've been terrible, actually. Absolutely terrible. Oh, there's $50 here. Thank you for uh, the $50. Uh, get yourself some bread, mate. <laughs> Maybe some. Buy me too. I don't know what bread that is. Uh, let's see. What drug should I be on while watching King Cobra? Definitely not into watching that shit show. Over. Uh, I would take edibles for five dollars. D head or but duster. Have... <laughs> no duster. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra's on duster. We care enough about you not to show you the Cobra teeth cuts because his teeth are rotting in his mouth, dude. It's so fucking terrible. Uh, thank you, Darkin. $20. His teeth are just coming right out. Uh, Rihanna Reeves, 20 memberships was around $250 in Australia. Jesus Christ, dude. Whoa, thank you, Rihanna Keeves. This whole time, I thought you were sending me Delira. Is that a money form? Wreck is back. There's a Gundam down here. G Gundam, rain, fi rain fine as fuck. $2. Rain is the character that ends up with Domo and Kashi, for those who don't know. Digital Demonic uh, Darvos, but I got that wrong, for $5. Have you seen your future ex-wife, Pokimane, LOL, already on YouTube? Ban Hammer? Wait, what? Oh. Frenzy making money hard when you have to work for it. 
I know. I'm going to start rapping. Uh, well, let's find out more about this band. Did Pokey ban someone or is Pokey banned? There's no way YouTube would ban her. I uh, guarantee you, I'll Sushin would up, shock uh, her toes. I'll look that up when we're doing the Hassan clips. Um, do a couple more super chats. Jagas for $5. Check out Seizure Robot 5000 for Cobra Lore. I might have seen it. I've been watching uh, this podcast called Cobra Bites or Snake Bites. It's fucking hilarious because they just chop up all his best shit. Ten more gifted subs. Uh, Pixel Kitten TV for the ten dollars. Thanks for all the quality content, Gunnam. You never fail to make me laugh and make my day better. Thank you. We called this show quality content as a joke because this content is not quality. I literally rolled out of bed, had to fight off depression, and then started cutting up drugs before doing the show. I'm not the person to model yourself after. Lulu for the five. Hey, Papa Gunnam, spent the past three days driving from California to my new house in GA, 500 miles to go, and about to go through Memphis. Wish me luck. Wow, dude, you've been driving. That's crazy. And good luck, honestly. I used to live in California, too, and it was so beautiful back in the day. It was so nice. It was so cool. It was like the movies back in the day. I'm not even shitting you. Hot chicks always around. You go to the bikini. There was no homeless people back then. Oh, those are the days. But I guess now we've got Bidenomics. Darth Omega's for the one-month membership. Only mechanical thing. DSP's been around as a keyboard. Uh, his keyboard is breaking, sadly. So we might have to donate money to make sure that he keeps going. Oh, I need to put on my uh, membership face. Sorry. Now let me get Dylan Mulvaney out of here. I didn't even realize Dylan is here. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Dylan. Okay, Pokey, we got to put on that because I heard my girl got in trouble. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. Uh, Chaos Actual, I think, for $5. Here you go. Eat some. Thank you, troll. I had supermarket sushi yesterday. And then it came out of my body like a super soaker. And all I could think was, thank God I had it yesterday and not today. Derek, my favorite little internet historian what are you doing derek for the two dollars what's for dinner tonight trader joe's tacos i know how much you love tacos derek i love that guy he's fantastic edward boyart the third for a hundred dollars hope this helps papa gun god bless you you rich people i am so high thank you so much for that hundred dollars i think we'll stop right there um actually earlier uh friend of the show and a uh, recent editor, Lud Ludwig World Order, sent me something talking about Vosh uh, showed a tab where he has been looking at horse porn. What? And let me pull that up real quick. Whoa, 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 stop. I'm not going to pull up the horse porn. It is censored. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Vosh can do it and walk. You pull it up with fucking toast. I need to look uh, without showing the chat. Let me see. Okay, hold on. I gotta see, see this see shit. At the bottom. Okay, let me look. No, I I uh, see let, it at the me, bottom, I'll, but I'm if I press DM, the button, I'll, I'll DM, I'll DM it to you. What I shouldn't see? It's all these fucking left leaning socialist progressive pieces of shit are the biggest fucking perverted dog fuckers you've ever seen, and you can quote me on that. I look at pornography with adult women. Sound <laughs> like Cobra now. I personally like crack whores. I hang out with Hunter Biden on the weekends. All right, let me see this. I'm sorry, chat. Normally, I would totally 100% show this, but it's fucking YouTube. Censored because Facebook probably has a policy about... Look, Bro, it's on his hard drive. That's not a website link. That's on his fucking folder. Oh, Medicare got him. Oh, man. Let's see. Whoopsie, popular lefty streamer Foss just accidentally revealed his porn collection on stream. Remember when I revealed my porn collection? It was like Japanese women. And then this dude comes in chat and he's like, hey, Gundam, I wanted to thank you for the porn fucking recommendation. It was a good video. And part of me was like, oh, man, I fucked up. But the other part of me was like, yeah, I know. It's great, isn't it? Anyway. Uh, porn collection on stream, much like previous Discord leaks from a few years back, this involved horses as well. Laughing my ass off. Oof. It's tough, folks. Gotta say, I don't remember Karl Marx ever mentioning 
that the means of seizing production involved bending over inside a barn. But what do I know? Vosh would have loved the dude who lived in my area. I've told this story before, but uh, my area is popular for a guy who had the best horse fucking mechanisms in all of the country, maybe in the world. People would fly from all over to come to upstate New York and fuck horses disguise apparatus. He was like the Willy Wonka of fucking horses. This is getting really dark, isn't it? And I'm too high because I'm not talking to chat as if I'm talking to someone on the street and I'm not on a social media platform that hates me. Long story short, because we don't need too many details. He was testing a new apparatus. He's like Elon Musk. And apparently it broke and the horse fucked him to death. It was tragic. There was blood and ass juice everywhere. I can't make the joke I wanted to say, but the horse arred his butt till the rope stinked. <laughs> no, unacceptable. <laughs> Stream's over. Good night, everybody. Oh, my hands don't work. <laughs> you really should have hit the dump button the second you heard me say I probably can't say it. I was under the influence. I'm not responsible for what I just said. That's what we'll tell the YouTube rep. <laughs> it's okay. He gets higher than me. He'll under... Oops. Shit. I gave a gender. <sighs> I had to drink on that. I wish I could have said the whole fucking joke. <laughs> oh, next time Vosh says something about me, I'm saving that. I'm saving this right here, right now. Next time Vosh pops up on me and he calls me like whatever the fuck he called me last time, I'm going to just be like, is this you, bro? Is this you? Is this you your fucking it, hard you drive? up on stream or you want to just keep it down? Do you think we could pull it up on stream? Because it, it is covered. Yeah, I don't see anything offensive on it. It's just words, basically. But yeah, I guess we could get away with words. Oh, okay, here we go. Slippery slope. You give the progressives what you want. They want them before you know it. They're fucking horses. Did the horse con consent? Is the horse having sex with men or women? That will determine if he's gay or not. Is the horse non-binary? <laughs> Did I assume the horse's gender? I've made a grave mistake. Eat it. Ah. <sighs> Look at that face. Zoom into Vosh's face. Look at the speed. It's like the Star Trek Enterprise. I'm like, number one, zoom in. That's about as fast, that much as I can get it. That's the face of a man who enjoys horse pornography. Never forget. I wish I had a horse sound right now. Yeah, nobody planned for this, really. Yeah. Shout out Ludwig for this one. He hit me Shot. up in chat. Shot Mr. Bedeker too. How could he how could he say something nasty about my poor Pipkin Pippa when he does this? Oh, side note, did you check out Medicare's stream over the weekend? Of course I didn't. I was editing. Mostly it was about Ethan Ralph. Uh my life revolves around Adabe. If I'm not like editing, I'm off the internet. I'm not even playing, dude. I fucking hate being online now. It's fucking gay. The internet used to be so cool back in the day, chat. When I was young, you could literally meet chicks more attractive than Pokemane behind me and fucking hook up with them, bro. For free! For free! Now, you meet a chick like Pokey, she's either a big streamer or a big OnlyFans content creator, and you're not meeting anything. You're paying to see toes. You're paying to see those grippers. And I don't recognize this America when a woman's feet wear it behind a paywall. I forgot my point. Karl Marx probably fucked horses because he was a communist. I think. <laughs> horse communism. Yeah. <laughs> Seize the memes of horse production. Horse fucking. <laughs> Seize the horse dick. <sighs> uh, we I do have to give uh, a little bit of shine to friend of the show and recent guest, um, Camelot. Oh yeah, he. Uh, let me get rid of this right here. 
he actually won his appeal with you. Oh, yeah. And We've beaten the fucking uh, journalist again. Get fucked, you fuckers. Wait, we're playing a clip? Yeah, I just got a Fuck. little clip. And lo and behold, guess what happens? Guess what happens? Yes, he got caught to, trying to fuck a horse. YouTube emailed me last night, guys, and has lifted the copyright strike on my channel. They lifted it, plus reinstated and remonetized my channel and my video. Shocking, right? It's almost as if it was a false copyright claim or a false copyright strike, rather. Much worse. Much worse. And the most disgusting part about this, look, I can give two shits about the author or any of these people. They're, they they only look through a, a weird-ass, like, brainwashed lens of, like, politics, which I don't. I don't care about any of that. So he's whatever. He's like a melting, round, balding glasses guy anyway. So who cares? I do want to say that I did try to get a hold of, he's talking about Jacob Wolf. And I made two tweets to him to get a response to him losing the appeal because he was so gung ho about it. But then he uh, threatened to are your butt till the robe stick dressed as a horse. I have yet to hear back from the from him. So uh, Jacob Wolf, if you're out there, you'll never um, hear from him. We probably won't hear from you, but this is what I was talking about. Thank you, sir. All right, next if um, we can go ahead and do Hassan. Um, yeah, let me see the champagne socialist, considering I made him the fucking thumbnail. There's so much on this. What I'm going to do, since this Sensitive Society made a good video on it that's a preference, and then we're going to go to Hassan uh, reacting to this entire situation. So we can set up the uh, the uh, the audience with the information that they need. Give me one second, and I'll be right there. Oh, good lord. Twitch fake communist Hassan Pankiris under fire after it's been revealed that da, 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 pretty dramatic tweet right here. His father was the CEO of a company that had a revenue of 152 billion. And here we have some responses. Tom says, imagine my shock. This person says, guy comes from a wealthy family. Two, never worked a real job in his entire life. You guys are we really shocked he's a socialist. The funny thing is that Hassan is always like, Kill, oh my god, my son kind of hurt it there. Damn, hopefully I don't bleed <laughs> out. I know some of you might like that, but we're not gonna die on this episode. Eat the rich, burn or kill landlords. How are you guys doing? We love landlords. We're here to protest against the landlords and the unions. We're all against uh oh, it's base boy, the corporate companies, the, the villain in social the comics. The more you end up hurting, you end up hurting the more you end up hurting the capital, up hurting the, capital. the quicker the, the strike, quicker will end. strike will end. Wait, uh, what strike? Landlords. And look how this guy dresses. It's just the funniest thing ever. Make the rich pay. So you're talking about your family? So you're talking about yourself? And let's not even include the dad. When he wears stuff like this, is he talking about himself? Is he talking about his uncle with a YouTube channel with millions of subscribers? Is he talking about his alleged oh, yeah, dad making charms, billions jerks. of dollars? Putting everything aside from Hassan, I'm talking his takes. I just don't like the dude. Like, he's straight up a hypocrite, a liar, and he will only say the popular thing. He will never, ever challenge his audience because he knows the second that he challenges them it's game over <laughs> would you guys be shocked if it turned out to be real I thought he was a hard-working citizen who struggled and not wants to give back and by giving back he means giving like 20 slices of pizza to writers if you watch Hassan ironically you need to seek help as soon as possible and then this is another tweet that popped up and this person says ha 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 Hassan's Piker family are linked to Turkish oligarch his dad was VP on a massive industrial financial controlled by one of Turkey's both US families da, 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 da. you can pause it if you read it long story short allegedly he used to work for this super rich company allegedly Hassan's dad we have a picture of Hassan and like here's my thing I don't have a problem with rich people okay make your money as long as you're not hurting anyone and you're being honest and you're not scamming anyone i don't have an issue with those type of people my issue is where you pretend to be something you're not just because it's a trendy or popular thing to do guys i'm going okay there's a clip from him doing an interview where he talks about being an affluent person in turkey because he's a he's an immigrant yeah i know that's why he said the stuff he said about 9-11 right 
And I want to play this part, and then we'll go ahead and go into his uh, his response. I grew up in Turkey um, to a relatively affluent family. And if you're oh, like, what a even, shock. Even, even a little bit affluent in Turkey because of how massive the wealth gap is in a country like that, you're, you know, you're caked up mm. uh, in comparison to like American standards where if a, a similar salary would not or a similar amount of wealth would not make you, uh, you know, upper middle class even. Hassan's father, Mehmet B. Piker, who is a public figure, so I'm not doxing anybody, was the vice president of Sabanchi Holding a Fortune 500 company at the time. He also represented Turkey as a delegate in the European Union. For Hassan to act like this wouldn't even make him upper middle class in America, when his father was literally one of the most powerful businessmen on the planet, is just a straight up lie, which he does a lot of in this interview. Hassan does mention that his father was the right hand man in a holding group. Um, but he was, he was successful. I mean, he was like lobbying the Turkish government. You know, he was, he was, uh, oh like my God. In a As group, everyone's you know father does. I mean? He was like, yes. He had some Every middle serious, class uh, white jobs. family just lobbies the government. I just... Oh, this guy's it. like, I already know all this shit's true because we looked into it and you were like, it's not even worth me doing a video on. <clears throat> it's, it's the typical shit. It's the same thing we had in 2018 with that fucking wiener, Carlos Maza, LARPing as a fucking normal person. Meanwhile, this cocksucker, unironically, was living in a place in Florida that was so huge. Their literal living room, or was it the bathroom, was bigger than my entire apartment. Like, bro, I can't say the things I want to say. Like, uh, if someone were to get kicked in the throat in Minecraft, it would be a wonderful day in America. I, I just can't take it. I hate this shit it's so much. And the funny thing is, his fan base will suck his dick, and they'll find ways to, like, pretend that he's not a rich fuckwit that's just LARPing as a poor person. He doesn't give a shit about you. And I'm glad he doesn't give a shit. I'm glad he gets your money. I'm glad he blows smoke up your ass for every stupid little belief system you have. And meanwhile, when everything gets worse in the next few years, if you know who stays in office, you'll be crying poverty and hunger. And this cocksucker will be laying in his pool, his $3 million pool that they all sat there and said, oh, well, Hassan Piker's house, even though it's $3 million, um, it's the size of a house that would be $250,000 in taxes. So really, it's not really a mansion. And it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Then you see the trans flag of their bio and all the pronouns. And you're like, oh, well, that makes total fucking sense. And I'm sure someone will go, uh, uh, why don't you have to point that out? Uh, uh, you're a fucking bigot. Suck my dick. Ah, oh, go fuck yourself. Get a job. Lift a weight. You don't have a different gender because you're ugly. Oh, that felt good to say. I can't yeah, believe on. you said that. Stu, that was terrible. Going to Starbucks in a quarter million dollar electric Porsche. <laughs> no! Bro's got a car that costs more than my house. And they're like, he's not rich. Oh, I wish that Porsche's brake lines would get cut in a video game. See what I did there? Uh, more his sign, really. This is his response to this uh, this new controversy. I put new in quotations because most people knew that his family was uh, quote unquote caked up. So him uh, responding. What the fuck? Is, caked up is what you say when you have money. <laughs> <laughs> I've never said caked up in my life. I've looked at a bunch of cakes in a bakery and never made that. Ah, oh, let's move on. Money. Talk says the oligarch nephew. What? I'm the That's oligarch you are, nephew. You My uncle is an oligarch who jank. Yeah. Oh, oh, you have a rich These uncle. There's a lot of fucking minds. influence this on YouTube. On the right wing is like being like Hassan is the son of an oligarch or the uncle, uh, the nephew of an oligarch. I don't know what the fuck these guys are talking about, but they actually, hate rich I think, people. lost the plot Pause completely. You I'm now officially socialist. I hate fucking rich people. <laughs> Seize the memes of production. Is he gonna like pretend that he doesn't know? No, he he's going to he's going to act like it's not new, but oh, like we're all stupid, out, right? Like you didn't know that I'm already rich. <laughs> you oh you you fucking idiots! Everybody knew that I was rich from the beginning. You think Jank is the oligarch, bro? I I have more money than he does. Like what what do you what does that make me? I'm the oligarch then. You know, wow! he's not the oligarch, bitch. I'm the oligarch. You know what I mean? There's a big we should pause the rich. Your dad owned $160 billion. Yeah, make the rich pay. 
Let's like just snatch him up like it's classic France. I'll wear the shirt then. Let them eat Pop Tarts since it's the modern age. He got pissed when Keem uh, quote tweeted out the quartering. Dollar company, these motherfuckers are tweaking. It's true. I am actually a 160 billionaire. You got me. I, yeah. That's insane, dude. Are you fucking, you have to literally be brain broken. Bill Gates, bro, Bill Gates calls me up to be like, yo, can I get a money line, son? I'm the bank and my dad is the bank for Bill Gates. I bet Gates. his dad has talked to my Bill dad Gates. And my uncle, they're saying your dad was a CEO at a Fortune 500 company and you're lying about how much you make and that he funds you or some shit. What? What? <laughs> what? My what? daddy helped me? Bro, I have Never. a publicly visible sub count. Like, what do you mean? For f wait, wait, what the fuck does that mean? I don't even know. Hassan now know. has to pretend he has to pretend that he's actually done a job in his life. So he's like trying to buy time as he thinks up a plausible story. I used to work the salt mines in Turkey. You can see my sub count. How can I be rich? Well, we already know he's rich. Br dude is flying Five in fucking now. private jets to Coachella. Don't play. Like, just fucking own it, you fu filthy oligarch. <laughs> Words I never thought I'd say in my life. <laughs> no. What the fuck are you guys saying? Explain how you were able to afford the stream deck, to be honest. Yeah, I know. People He's in so a $3 million dollar house in Dude, LA! Listen, as politics get worse and worse, <laughs> people become more schizophrenic. That's it. There's not really anything else that you can do about it other than the fact that, you know, people are just Pause it. genuinely Bro, I schizo. Can't. How'd you buy a 49 the other garbage? Like, how is he even playing this? And his chat is sitting there in complete cognitive dissonance. Like, this is the same guy you literally watch fly to Coachella on a private jet wearing the most expensive, ugly fucking clothes. What were those clothes even called? I don't even know. But it looked like he was wearing rags. And they were like, oh, this is like Gucci and Louis Vuitton. And he's in a private jet doing a peace sign and shit while flying to Coachella. And everybody's like, <laughs> You're so rich, you bought a Steam Deck. Oh my God, dude. Oh my fucking God. This is the same level of mental gymnastics people who pay for OnlyFans go through to pretend the girls like them and they're accessible and cool. Like, oh, you know, like I'm just supporting sex workers, you know, and there's nothing wrong with it. They're actually good people. And, blah, 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 blah. and we have a friendship and da, 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 da. No, fuck. You're the fucking consumer of this product. Oh, my, my brain. Oh. Don't Fuck ask this. questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next products. That's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Otherwise, OTK. And the O in OTK stands for oligarch. You named it. They're saying your dad is on the board for this conglomerate. Subunjit? No, dude. These people are so dumb. They're trying to dox my dad, but like they're. <laughs> <laughs> what? I... Your father's a public figure. I know, bro. Boxing the place that my dad worked at literally 20 years ago, dumbasses. This is what I'm saying. I'm very public about this anyway. I've literally talked about this. No, yeah. you haven't. He That's was money up when I was growing up. Bro, he just bought an expensive. He was money up. Razor Gaming Shop style line in chat. Yeah. This is like not a, even a secret. There's so Bro is buying Dolce and Gabbana. Yes. My dad was rich. Okay. I say was. This is what he prefaced. Was rich. Yeah, there's no such thing as was rich. Right. You you walk away with a few billion, you stay rich. Your father would have to be dark side Phil for Hassan's dad to be poor. What the fuck? Was because you no longer is. I've talked about this quite a bit. He's in a box. It's also ridiculous that they're doing this because, like, yeah, I don't agree with my dad on politics anyway. It's pretty obvious. I also came to America. Mother doesn't even <laughs> speak English. Well, he's a, it seem like he he's some, an immigrant. Yeah, everything beyond him being my father is like it's it's his own shit. Kojin and Sabanjo are also even more mega rich than they were 20 years ago. Pennies in comparison. Yeah. I have I have said it openly, but also presumably not like 150 billion. Yeah, no, of course not. That's so dumb. People on a certain subreddit are repeating it too so hilariously. Yes, because most of like the anti Hassan lore just revolves around people trying to uh. endlessly justify why I'm a bad person or some shit. It's not in, in remotely good faith. No, my, my dad was not a billionaire. People are, I need to be a political minds, fucking streamer. There's more money in it. 
All that dark money. Yeah. I like some money. Then I can hang out with Hunter Biden. So this goes on for a while where Hassan just basically uh, right. tries to he, spin it. It goes on for a little bit. He just it deflects. It, like, why didn't you know I'm, I'm rich? I run yeah, his story, is, his story has changed two times. But when he was in that interview, he's like, oh, yeah, we only had enough money for like a middle class family in America. Now he's like, my dad was rich, but you didn't say that you were rich before. Champagne socialism. I fucking hate politics in America. I hate it. I just wish like people were normal. Could we just vote in someone that's not retarded? That's all I'm for. Could the economy not go to shit? Can we protect the border? You know, I'm not asking for much. Can we stop migrants from doing like scooter robberies in New York, please? I would like New York not to turn into Brazil. Look out. He's a fucking villain. He lied, said he grew up poor with a like snake. The number in Turkish lira and did not even convert it. And oh, wow. The number, I, ironically, That's is a like lie. related to the holding group that he was a vice president of. At this okay, now let me give you a little bit of context for the chat. A holding group is a conglomerate that holds many different companies, many different landowners. And if you're the right-hand man... You pretty much have access to the entire group. You get to say where the money goes, this place, that place. And I'm sure he wasn't paid pennies to do this job. Yeah, nobody will pay pennies for that. You get pennies when you're the fucking mail clerk. His old man's point, worth $5 billion. Pays... The holding fund is worth $5 billion. No, the holding fund is worth $150 billion. In Turkish, but converted to uh, dollars, it's five point two. All right. Basically, is just like someone being a cyber stalker and like not even doing a very good job at it, and then being like, "Yeah, you're worth 160 billion dollars." Yeah, dude. You think if I was worth 160 billion dollars, I'd ever be live on Twitch? Yes, because your even ego's that me. massive. Dumb. F you got like Discord detectives doing autism He's research on so you at bad. all times. Yeah, except the problem is it's also completely false. Like it's just it's not even correct. It literally is just like people not understanding a thing and then pointing to it and then coming in here and being like, dude, I heard you're worth $160 billion. They didn't say that. They said your father works at a company that's worth 160 Turkish billion, which is 5 billion in us. But dude, this is the same so thing that dark money. side, bro. I, I'm Amory. It's this is the same thing. DSP does like when he gets caught saying something, and then later he shifts it around and the story just ever evolves the longer you sit and listen. That's all it is. Fuck him. He's rich. Fuck it. Fuck him. Fuck uncooked rice because it sucks to eat. What else yeah, have we dude. got, for God's sake? It's so funny. To okay, you want to go? I'm, I'm so sick of watching a rich person just uh, dance around the subject. Just fucking say you're rich, dude. Everyone knows you're rich. Anyway, you slice it, you're rich. Your old man's rich. You're rich off Twitch. The dude got a leg up. You know, the Young Turks have never invited me on to promote my channel, and they never fucking would, unless they thought they could dunk on me. That's the only reason why they come in. The dude's like, oh, America deserved 9-11, and they, like, tap danced around it with him and kissed his ass because his fucking un uncle interviewing him. Get this fucking nepotism shit out of here. Fucking A. Who the fuck comes to this country and shits on it? Someone that should be deported. And you can quote me on that. Go fuck yourself. Go get some Turkish lira. Nothing personal to Turkish people, but my God, as an American, I'm so sick of people coming here, shitting on the country, and getting rich off of it. Man, his ass should be up and down like America's great because I made it watching shit and leaving the goddamn room. Fuck. Out there rubbing elbows with these talentless cocksuckers in Hollywood on strike. God forbid they strike and not make a shitty show telling me how I'm a bigot or something. Ugh. Untalented wretches. Nothing is of value anymore, except my dog, Fluffy. Wrong face. Let's have I a, really shouldn't let's be have doing live streams, cleanser. dude. You, you know I don't earlier. like this guy. Ah, oh, God damn it. Here we go with the writers. 
honest, I was not very steeped in the comics. I didn't, I didn't read any comics or do any research. I wasn't familiar with the comics. I wasn't familiar with the movies. We didn't lean into a whole lot of the history of the comic book. Yeah, candidly, we were not enormous um, comic fans. I wasn't super into superhero comics when I was a kid. I read a lot of like indie press stuff. First thing uh, I was told is don't read the comics. Really? As a creator, they put you in a bubble. They don't let you talk about any of the other projects, right? You know, they're, they're up for anything. We ultimately decided to redefine it for the series and thought that it worked uh, better for the story that we're trying to tell. Did you ever read the, did you, did you, you, you no. read the comic book. When the DVD comes out, I'm going to read a Thor comic book and just see where we went wrong. I hate Taika Waititi so fucking much, you don't even know. I fucking hate him. People are like, he did a funny movie lunch. I don't give a shit. Look what he did to fucking Thor. Get him the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. This is why Marvel sucks and all of Hollywood sucks because it's just basically a circle jerk where everybody's helping people they know get jobs and you have to have the right ideas and opinions. Maybe Hollywood shouldn't be in Hollywood anymore. Let's move entertainment to Vegas where shit still when the porn industry left L.A. I knew it was over <laughs> when porn went to Vegas. I was like, L.A. is dead. Jesus. Oh, we didn't read the comics. No surprise. Every Marvel movie that comes out is worse than the last one. Absolutely, positively the worst. It's like when I made fun of Asmongold's thing, saying, like, the artist doesn't matter. And I guess when you're putting it through the lens of companies and people don't care what the artists think, sure, companies don't care. But I think most people that love the IP care what the artists think. And the artist's opinion does matter. Because with the artist, you don't have the content to begin with. The fucking point is... Jesus Christ, why can't we just have anything good anymore? Why can't we hire people that care about something? I'm sick of messages. I'm sick of the DIE or DEI. I'm sick of diversity, equity, and inclusion. The only thing it's giving us is a lot of whiny ass fucking people and a lot of homogenous content that's so whitewashed and boring that there's, there's just no thrill anymore. Fucking A, the game Stellar Blade's coming out and everybody's upset she's attractive and not ugly. Well, God forbid, I didn't want to play Nick Avocado again. That's why I couldn't get through <laughs> Horizon of the Great West or whatever the fuck the game is called. I just got tired of looking at Eloy's face. There you go. I said it. Ah. Uh, uh, you're like trying to fucking trigger me today with this bullshit. I'm trying. I'm trying my best, chat. Kamal uh, Nonjiani, Baba Dadani, reveals he went to counseling over the Eternals' bad review. Quote, I do have trauma. Now, remember, <laughs> Eternals was released, what, like three, four years ago, 2021, during the pandemic? And in here, he says he opens up that he went to a counselor uh, after the Eternals' press circuit. Quote, the reviews were bad, and I was too aware of it. You were in the fucking film. I was reading every review and checking too much. If I knew he was going to read the reviews, I would have done one on Eternals that would have been absolutely scathing. If I knew he would see it, I would have completely destroyed that film. What little I saw of the Eternals took my will to live. Make sure he gets that message. You almost killed me, you bastard. <laughs> I love this quote right here. I think there was some weird soup in the atmosphere for why that movie got slammed so much. Yeah, because it was shit. Somebody shit in the soup, you son of a bitch. And I, th and I think not too much of it has to do with the actual quality of the movie. I tend to disagree. Oh, my God. It was really hard, and that was when I thought it was unfair to me and unfair to my wife. Emily. I didn't even know he was married. Nobody gives a fuck about your wife. Go fuck I yourself. I can't approach my work this way anymore. Some shit has to change. So I started counseling. I still talk to my therapist about that. He has been in counseling for years over reviews from Eternals chat. Years. He, why isn't he in counseling for his role in fucking Obi-Wan while you're at it? Jesus Christ. Could you imagine how wonderful his life must be? That like a few nasty messages online for an absolute shit movie. Twisted Jack is right. He's like using the wife deflection like DSP. A few shitty reviews of a shit movie was enough to like harm you emotionally to go to therapy. I Bro. Mean, I go hard with the, my wife. Uh, Emily says that I do have trauma for it. She says it. She's downstairs wow. crying right now. 
It's almost like he served in World War II. Fuck. We actually just got dinner with someone else from the movie, and we were like, that was tough, wasn't it? And he's like, yeah, that was really tough. And I think we all went through something similar. Bro. What? What is he talking about? I forgot the Eternals existed. <laughs> He found out a year ago he was going to be in Marvel's Eternals, and I decided I wanted to transform how I looked. I would not have been able to do this if I didn't have a full year with the best trainers, nutritionists, paid for by the best studio in the world, blah, 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 blah. Wow, Marvel paid for him to get fit? Holy shit. How can they not make the women do that? Oh, I wish I had a but I hate uh, Hollywood. In the very end, I found out over the last year and a half since I did that picture that I'm very uncomfortable talking about my body, and it's become less and less and less comfortable. He told. Who Jesus cares about 21. him? God damn, this dude's like trying to drum up some sort of interest. He's not traumatized. He's sitting there like, how can I get people talking about me again? Oh yes, my last movie. Oh, the reviews are so bad that I started to go to therapy. People said that the movie was a steamy pile of shit. But I thought it was really good because it was very diverse and inclusive. We had two gay characters. We were breaking boundaries. Angelina Jolie said that she condemned China for not watching it. Then the Chinese said that she was banned from Hong Kong. So she wasn't able to kidnap another child. Whoa, I can't believe you said that. Jesus Christ. No, unacceptable. Uh, let's go to the super chats real quick. You ever notice? Okay, I'm gonna say this. You notice like white women in Hollywood that like I was gonna say kidnap kids, uh, adopt children. No matter what kids they get, they always turn trans. Acceptable. Like Charlize Theron, right? That's the one who's like 40 with the two yeah. black kids. Oh, she's probably 50. Whatever. Um, real talk. Don't listen to this chat. Delete it when you hear it. How many black trans kids have you met in your life? Hmm? 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 Exactly. She did it to those kids. That's what I think. And I'll be killed later. <laughs> Derek's back. Oh, thank God for Derek. Oh, I'm, I'm happy to see you, Derek. Uh... They were bullying me. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Who was bullying you? Was DSP's chat bullying you, Derek? By the way, do you have a link to Cherry Piss? Oh, can I say that? Acceptable. Yeah, you don't know what that is. That's cool. I heard that, like, uh, him showing up to the those uh, live girl campsites <laughs> led to the channel, like, the, the site getting crashed because oh. everybody's going in. Yeah, the, the, I mean, that being said, told about it, they just crashed the server because everyone jumped on it once. Oh, man. Derek is a national treasure. All right, Green here for the $5. I just uh, finished putting together the 1994 Rising Gundam. Will you ever do some over-the-top builds of the 80s and 90s kits? Uh, yeah, that's in the works, but uh, I spent a lot of time editing, sadly. And then if I'm not editing, I'm doing bullshit on the scene. Like uh, pretending to be an adult. Uh, Daniel Edwards. New York has so much bullshit here. I, somebody said Gundam does political content. I don't really do political content. I give my opinions that the average person is probably thinking. Uh, we're going to be giving the migrants $1,000 a month here in New York. I don't understand why. But I just know that my taxes are going up. And free cop beatings. Oh, yeah, the cop beatings. I forgot about that. Uh, I'm not even going to go into it, but it's just, uh, I got to get out of this state in the worst way possible, dude. I'm owed years of overpaying for my taxes and they play with me and my fucking money. I need to change my name to the Ukraine to get something. Uh, Daniel Edwards, $5. Isn't current day Phil spayed and neutered by YouTube and Twitch? No, I would say current day Phil is spayed and neutered by cat. That's my theory. I'm a hundred percent sure. And now that she's a big in and we're all confirmed it. That's probably why DSP wasn't allowed to look at attractive women in games and he had to act like everything was nasty because you know she's got to be so fucking insecure. So, like, if Phil is caught gaming, like, you know, Phil can't play Stellar Blade. He's not going to play it because if he does, Cat will have a conniption. I'm just going to move on. Fuck it. 
Uh, K. Breesia, yeah, I probably got that wrong. Barbara, two dollars. Wednesday pull up quick. It's hump day. Ahsoka Tano for five dollars. The Stellar Blade game. I'm waiting for to come to Steam. Never getting a PS5. You know something? You're not missing with the, P- the you, you. I'm sorry. I'm high. You're not missing anything with PS5. It's really underwhelming. It really is. I haven't turned on my PS5 in like months. I might do it for Stellar Blade though. Kyle Kuken for the five dollars. Disney just bought a one point five billion dollar stake in Epic Games. Oh God! Fortnite dances for everyone. Oh my God! Mickey Mouse in Fortnite. Ugh, so fucking cringe. Keanu's back with the twenty Aussies. We never protect all. Uh, we need to protect at all costs the rappers scamming and finessing these. Slimy, whack, wannabe influencer celebrities. I got to say, the richer than my bitch ass. I agree with that. Scam them all. But he was a mark, without a shadow of a doubt. Oof. Uh, Deadhead with the $2 D-head. I love you, Gundam. You talentless hack. Thank you. Tom, Tom, for the 10. If this was a real emergency, 40 people would be like Kia right now. That's sad. Uh, let's see. He's back and he's become a YouTube member. Money well spent. Uh, not an FBI for two hours. Odd way to have the wet tea contest. I see what he's saying. That's way back. We are we are very behind on this. Movie signs for five dollars. Hey Gundam, if it's not DMCA, DMCA, please play the SWAT theme during the clip, please. Uh, I that might be DMCA. Everything's be DMCA, bro. Yeah, that one would probably. Be I got it. I got fucking got by Simon and Garfunkel. For like five years, bro. <laughs> they were collecting money from me in escrow. And now I'm fighting to get it back. Sal the guy, uh, Sal the meh guy for $2. Have you read Vagabond? Everybody's read Vagabond. That's a ridiculous question. It's been on hiatus. Oh my God. How long has it been? It's been years, dude. You know what would be cool, but would also suck? A Vagabond anime by Studio Mappa. But it, it didn't ever happen. Uh, we got Chris Tanner for the two British pound sterlings with the super sticker. CF has gifted five memberships. Jack Walker for the two had edibles. Felt the music I was listening to. I should do that. Uh, D. Roy for $5. Waiting for Hassan to hit rock bottom and take the challenge against Hyde. By the way, trying hitting up Escator, but X wants me to have a subscription. You got to pay to play. Um, Hassan's never going to hit rock bottom, dude. He's fucking, he's set for life. We all know it. Oh, and you can hit, uh, my DM should be open. Uh, if not, just tweet at me and I'll get back with you after the show sometime tonight. Uh, uh we just call him Kraft for $2. Haha, we need you as a host for Locale Live. They're going to yeah, come right. up with the money, me? baby. I like the only thing I know is Dark Side Phil. And if I was on Locale Live, I would try to convince Boogie to basically do jackass. Mick Grill for five dollars. Hey Gunnam, are you ever going back to making music? I would love to. I just gotta set up a Spotify. I've been trying to get something gone for a while, but nobody like jumps on. And I'm sitting there like, I'll pay for us to do the studio time and crap. Let's finish all this the shit we've written and then just put it out and see what happens. So if it goes well, I can quit doing this. If it doesn't, we all go back to our meaningless lives. CF for the 25 CA. I think that's Canadians. When I win the lotto this weekend, I'm buying you a 600 RR just for giggles and the mice to feed on. Bro, I don't need a 600 RR. It's the inferior 600. Unless it's the new 600 RR and still, it's a Honda. I'm going to Cotty. And three, I've taken care of the mice. The mice have met their fate. I have killed many of them, and I hung their body on strings in the garage. The mice now know, if they cross me, that they and their ancestors will suffer my wrath. I also tried to get my neighbors removed from their home, because they're the reason the mice fucking exist. They're hoarders. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, super chat. I'll, I'll take over if you want to. Back to bite with the two dollar with the two pounds. Give Fluffy a cuddle for me, you madman. Fun stream. This stream is terrible. Horrible. Not an FBI with the Australian five. Sounds worse than the time Kirsch teaches her chat about sounding. I hope I got that right. Who's Kirsch? 
I don't know. I have to look that one up. Uh, David McFarlane with the Big Fifty, Gundam's ex-wife. Where have you gone? Ah, uh, Pokey knows exactly where I am. I'm in her DMs, <laughs> <laughs> and she avoids me like the plague. It's a game we play, where I just send her annoying messages like "Your feet look scrumptious today," and then I get nothing back. But she won't block me, so that means she's not really against it or offended by it. So you're saying you have a chance. Jeff is Everybody not loves a two- bad boy. <laughs> Jeff is not with the $2. Nay to consent. Oh! Valsh ain't even having nays. That came, fu- like, my brain took a second to catch that. Armed hobo with the 20. Give yourself a nice bottle of MD 2020. Oh, that mad dog. Some of that ripple wine. Oh, I thought, like, he was offering money for, um... Multiple sclerosis medicine. Uh, gas station wine. Don't ask me how I know that. Uh, to- uh, Tomok with the 50. Papa Gundam, how would you rate the mobile suits in Eureka 7? Haven't seen it. Eric Washman with the $7. Gundam, you should watch Gitama. Jintama. Uh, it really is funny anime. Start from episode 3. Though, because the first two are not canon. The name rings a bell. I'll send my assistant after it. Kling twenty two ninety six. <clears throat> excuse me. With the five dollars. So is Vosh more of an Arabian horse guy, Palomino, or maybe a Clydesdale? Definitely You're gonna Clydesdale. have to ask Mister Medicker because he has the original photos. Uh, Rob Andrews with the two dollars. Thank you. Uh, Riano Keeves gifted another 10 memberships. Thank you, Mr. Keeves. We are Doing killing it, it today. Doing it tonight. James Boyd gifted one membership. Thank you. Uh, actually, gifted two memberships. Thank you so much. CF with the $10. You couldn't afford that shirt to announce Make the Rich Pay. It's $120. Really? No uh, way. There's no fucking way he'd sell that shirt for $120. The rich. Hey, uh, keep going oh, while I look it check up. Check it. Rich, uh, Review Tech USA, the big man. Hey, man, can I get on for a minute? I need to talk about Keem. What's going um, on with Keem? Uh, last night, Rich got on Low Kyle Lab because Wings was quitting again. It's like the same storyline for the last three weeks. And Rich was on there making great points. Actually, I think Rich needs to be on Low Kyle Lab. Uh, he's streaming right now. Kind of. I can send him a. I'll send him a link here in just a second. Rich, if you're watching, just give me a minute. I'll go ahead and DM, DM you the link to come into StreamYard. Just give me a minute. Thank you for the twenty, by the way. Uh, Noah Zork with the two dollars. Gundam, you should interview Putin. You'd vibe. <laughs> Tucker already got it. Yeah, right. He wouldn't speak to me. Nobody wants to speak to me. I tried to get like uh, Twitch dots to come on and talk about putting oil on their boobs and they refused. And then YouTube said that the video I did on them was promoting whores. You can't win either way you slice it. Uh, wolf, wait, wait. Wolf and yeah, this shirt's 20 bucks everywhere. But Unless have he's you a ever legs. had uncooked rice with $5? Who hasn't had uncooked rice at least once in their life? Darth Revan. New member. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank Joshua, God Disney didn't make that movie. Joshua with the $20. Should check out Brev, Brave Bang Brevren. It's a mecha parody. It reminds me of Gintama, but without the fourth wall. I will send my assistant, assistant on that one as well. Uh, do, 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 do. Next one. Wolf and Wings, become a YouTube member. Thank you. King Edgelord, also a member. Thank you. King Edgelord also donated $5. Five Thank bucks. you. Uh, CF with another $5. Remember the days when an actor could play a different race? Oh, sex, yeah. disabled part? My favorite actor playing a different race outside of um, Robert Downey Jr., Sergeant Lincoln Osiris, iconic. There was always selling in Philadelphia with Lethal Weapon 6. I thought it was very brave. Uh, Shabresra Barber with the $5. I've got trauma from the bad reviews. Everyone who got bullied as kids, woe is you. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, Rihanna Keeves, yeah, gifted 50 memberships. Thank what you. if, 
Yeah, wow. Rihanna Keeves is actually Keanu Reeves, and this is just like a sock account. Wow. Think about that. That just blew my mind. It could be real. King Edgelord with the $5. Thank you, Edgelord. Graph Web with the $2. Hashtag cancel Disney Plus. I'm down with that. I pay too much for Disney Plus, and there's nothing on it. I hate Disney Plus. My family uses it. After and I sometimes Echo. watch something. After Echo, they, I'm just done. I'm done. You didn't watch the Echo documentary, you asshole. No. No. You don't support indigenous people. Disabled indigenous people. Oh, fuck. I forgot. She's not only crippled, she's deaf. With one one, le one leg. In, in real life, actually. She's the whole package, except for the leg. Slovako Nikki with the ten dollars. I almost blew my head off because of a sociopathic woman who emptied out my house after I lost my job during the coof. But yes, Hollywood star had it worse than me. Yeah, that checks out. Clown face emoji. Totally. God bless you for the ten dollars. When my woman left me, I almost dropped dead too. Uh, King Edge Lord with the two dollars. The only black trans people I know are the. Druggies. I trust Edge Lord because he appears to be black, so he can say that. Um, we have the man on. You mean we bring on Rich? He's actually in in uh in the chat right now. Let's, we'll go ahead and stop right there with the super chats and bring on uh our mystery guest. Um, All right, hit me with the Keem news. Hit me with Keem bitched out. You're high out of your fucking mind, aren't you? Oh, I'm fucking lit up right Your now. Your eyes are redder than the devil's dick, young man. I am on 100 milligrams straight to fucking. Listen, Keemstar <laughs> bitched out on me. Uh, he said last night, come on the show, we'll audition you. I'm like, all right, great, cool, whatever. So I'll come on tonight. So anyway, it, I get home. I had to get an MRI on my leg. I go to see if I'm getting like, hey, are you going to give me a link to a Discord or a Zoom link or whatever? So I go hit a boogie. No response. All right. He's it's not he's not the fucking producer. Whatever. That is what it is. Then I go Boogie to, was having bath time with his daughter. What the fuck is wrong with you, yeah, bitch? Yeah, listen, he she was washing under his breasts because you know when you have God, those, that sounds uh, sensual. It is. Listen, <laughs> man. You the, 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 it's a wonderful thing to have flapjack titties. Anyway. Eat it. <laughs> Anyway, I'm sorry, I haven't taken away his stream deck. So listen, anyway, li I spam the fuck out of my stream deck. So then I go to Keemstar. I'm like, and Keemstar is the, I don't know, the fucking creator of the show. Keem, am I coming on today? He says, I don't know. Talk to fucking Tommy. I'm like, how do you not know? You could bring on whoever you want. You could not have on whoever you want. It's your show, but whatever. I'll go to Tommy. Go to Tommy. His DMs aren't open. I send him a tweet. Still nothing. I got porn bots replying to me. So that has been my. I don't care. I don't. I, I don't care. You don't want me on the show. But at least, Keem, you have your fucking beard gnome testicles. Say to me that I'm not on the show. That is all I have to say. Thank you for having me on. And yes, I am stone shitless right now. Oh, I know. You took 100 milligrams. I took 100 milligrams last night and thought I was dying. Meanwhile, you're doing you know, 100 milligrams and making phone calls to one of the worst shows alive. Like, this is how you get your message out to Keem. It was the worst choice you could make. You need to hit up Mr. Beast. Then Keem would have been on the phone with you immediately. Now oh, you're less likely to get the job. Dude, you have like five times the people watching you that are watching me. He'll get the message. Trust me. This is the same guy who said I leaked the fight uh, where uh, the quartering was being trained by Sam Hyde. I never leaked it. Wait, that's going on now? No, no that that's not what year. I'm saying. Ah. He said I leaked it. I never leaked shit. And I have put up evidence that I didn't. It was, it was actually uh, Sam Hyde's assistant that leaked it. And I put up, I put up that evidence, and Keemstar just—he never got back to me. He gave me discount. He says, "Okay, I'll give you a discount to come to one of the boxing matches." Thank you, Keem. A coupon? How, how big yeah, is I'll give discount? you a coupon for me for for me defaming you. Here's a coupon. Come see a fight that you can give a fuck about. How much was it, though? 
I don't know. I have no it's idea. It's probably ten like percent. He's a generous man. <laughs> yeah, it was probably like it was probably like I could get I could get five dollars off for like a drink, like a, a soft drink. Yeah, yeah, I could I could get a, a hundred dollar sandwich for ninety five dollars. Uh, gonna be in my all right. Anyway, on. gentlemen, it's been all real. Right. Thank you for letting me spread the message. I now will spread, spread the message. Yes. I'm going to go spread my cheeks and maybe take another 50 Shut milligrams because I've lost my mind. Relax your anus. Yes. Relax my anus. Listen, if you want to, if you want all the sound files on my soundboard, let me know. I'll hit you up. Oh, he will hit you up. Josh uh, will hit yeah. you immediately for those. Yeah, hit me up because I'll get, I can, I'll get you a Google Drive uh, link. Definitely. I can't even fucking talk. Definitely. I, I'll, I'll holler at you later on. Go All take right, a have nap. A good night. Have a good night, gentlemen. See ya. Take it easy. I guess Keem's got the message. Uh, this was not the place to give it. He's totally going to get in my DMs now. I just know it. I know that clip's going to make it around. It was a I shit don't even show know what the fuck's night. going on. It, it I don't even know what's going night. on. Local Live imploding again. Jordy Jordan fucking... Uh, Fake drama, wanting to get it. He wants to be the moderator in the chat while he's the host of the show. What the fuck are you going to do? Well, how are you going to mod the chat and host the show? I can't even fucking keep up with super chats. But then again, Wings would probably be laser focused on the chat. He's so scared of Wings 007. And I have no idea why, because Wings 007 is just a clip channel. He's just a dude that clips him. It's funny, but that's all. Without Wings, he's nothing. But he's so afraid of him. Totally afraid. Deathly afraid. I know more about Cobra than what's going on. It did sound funny, like having everybody go to everybody else for something. He just should have kept doing it. That's what I would have done, because I'm a pest. <sighs> having a drink. Me too. Well, I'm drink glad to know that um, something is up. So is the courting fighting somebody? Is that what's going on? No, that was a, a few months ago. There was did the fight happen? A, no. It didn't happen because that was around the time that they were doing the wings and the wings and boogie fight. And I think they were trying to get the quartering and uh, rich as an undercard or maybe the next ah. fight, but it totally didn't happen. So it was just like a fart in a wind. And yeah. Keem is, I've worked for Keem full, full disclosure. I worked at drama alert from 2017 okay, we've to 2019. Come out. He's admitted to it. <laughs> so I know how Keem works. I worked with him for many years. It, it, it's a little bit of a fly by the seat of your pants, kind of like this stream. So, you know, as a, King, as a guy who uh, I don't like being a leader, you know, uh, I hate rules. I hate following them. I hate schedules. I hate a lot of things. I like sleeping. That's my shit. Like, I think I was a cat in my past life. But point being, uh, I know what it's like to have some shit going on. And people come to me and I'm like, no. No, don't talk to me about this. <laughs> Go find fucking Josh. Not me. Do not look for me. Who gave you this email address? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Get out Everything of here. Everything dumped on me just because <laughs> I keep schedules. Like, you like keeping up with all this bullshit. I love like, it. Like, you, you keep, he keeps up with numbers and shit. He's like, so-and-so's doing this and that. I'm on the fucking floor on drugs questioning if I should end it all. And he's like... Cam's killing it tonight, my dude. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Help me! Anyway, um, I forgot what it had to do with the locale live. I got a tangent about myself because I'm a narcissist. Uh, it, 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 last night, the stream was just all about Wings being a fucking prima donna and saying he wanted to be mod. He wants to censor the chat because he doesn't like people calling him the PDF word. And PDF? Isn't that PDF like a, a Photoshop file? Yes, exactly. Yeah, like a file you like check out stuff on the computer. I don't understand why he gets so pissed off at it because he said these things, even if they were in jest, they were still stupid enough they came out of his mouth. It's almost like the DSP thing. You're, you're taking me out of context. Phil, you talk for fucking hours on end. No one's clipping you out of context. These fucking clippers. Duty is trying to kill Darkseid, Phil. With <laughs> yeah. clips. Duty's going to kill him, and then he's going to take over and do his accounting. Phil could use an accountant. Phil could Phil use could a use lot a of manager. things. He could use I a kinda, social media manager. What would a social media manager do to fucking save Phil? I don't For know, swallow, real. Swallow a pistol? Like, 
the social media manager yeah you're right they like they just ended after they see his fucking his twitter dsp what i love the most about him is his twitter page because it's the fakest shit on the planet like everything is so fucking just phony it's like hey we had a great day on dsp gaming while playing plot world and i hope you tune in tomorrow night for more fun and chill interactivity and then like you see the scream and he's just cursing out this dude who's a racist in chat like it's just wild I love it. It's quality content. With me, you know who I am. I post dumb shit on Twitter all the time. And then you come to the stream and you see this dumb shit. And you're like, yeah, that's who he is. He's a dumb motherfucker. Ugh. Camera's on the whole time? You're right, Gabriel. Uh, is there anything chat. left? Because I don't fat. remember. I'm sorry. Short fat otaku is in the chat. God bless him. He makes some good videos and he pisses off Vosh. And I heard that Vosh hates Asmund Gold, so now I'm in Asmund Gold's corner. Oh, uh, did you see the clip that you gave me and then I gave to Drama Alert? They posted Asmund Gold with the roach, and then XQC actually uh, reacted to it. Oh, boy. I it bet it's nothing. fun. It was nothing, yeah, I know. really. Of course. God, I, gotta, I, I made the mistake being a YouTuber. I should have been a streamer. That's what the money was, dude. I just want to watch other people's shit get paid. That's what I'm all about. And then when actually, I get rich, I pretend that I'm actually broke. I'm well, hood rich, though. Hood check rich. Check this out. Oh, oh God. Boss Man Jack loses $10,000 in 12 seconds. This is actually a short oh. clip, but I love it. I love it. Shout More out, watching Boss people Jack. with money <laughs> that I don't have. Why? I want to do a $5,000 limbo. Should I do it? Just He's one. $5, one and done. He has ten grand. No, no, I'm doing it. No, I just lost five bands. Get it back. Oh, what? What's going on? Look at the very top number, sixty-two hundred. I know, money. but the, mo oh the money's moving too quick. What the fuck is this game? Oh my god, all in. Oh no. my god, I just lost ten grand. Oh my god, I just lost Bruh. ten bands. Bro, I just lost ten bands. Oh my god, what am I doing? Why would I do get this that? out of here? Get this out of here. Oh no. my god, dude, I still have like thirty bands, way more than all y'all. Ban all these guys laughing, dude. All of them. Laugh. Ev ban every single one. Langs, you're banned. Ten subs for an unban. Uh, Prince Cobra, you're gone. How about this? Band, uh, East Scuff band, Jays, band, you're gone. Band, band. Uh, you gone won't be talking in forever. here anymore. Bro. What the fuck is this? He He's banning people for laughing at him for pissing away ten grand. In twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. I can't, man. I'm like trying to scrounge money for a new motorcycle leather suit so when I crash, I don't fucking rip my flesh off. <laughs> and I'm counting every penny. This motherfucker threw away enough money for me to buy like three in 12 seconds. There's what am I supposed clip. to learn from this? This isn't positive content. There's this isn't fun clip. and chill. There's another clip from yesterday. I don't know if I want to play it. He wins 14 grand, calls up his mom. Says, oh, mommy, I won money. And the mom says, don't piss it all away. Guess what happens? <laughs> he he invests it properly. <laughs> yeah, he got a Roth IRA. He's doing fine. He's in the market. Well, he's like a uh, independent contractor or something like that, or a business owner, right? So uh, yeah. you can't really get a Roth IRA or some shit. This is like some weird loophole thing when it comes to IRAs if you have your own business, just in case those in chat don't know. It's fucking annoying. Fine, let's watch this dude lose more money than the rest of us got, because that's fun. Here we go. What type of game is this? this oh, is my God, thank God. oh my God, thank God. Oh my God, thank God. He made five grand. This is where he's at. It's just like playing Minesweeper on old school PC. I don't even know what oh! Minesweeper is. Oh my gosh! 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 Eight thousand dollars! Oh my gosh, dude! I'm about to pass out, bro! I'm about to fucking pass out, bro! Oh my god, dude! Holy fucking shit, dude! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Holy fucking shit balls, guys. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, I feel like crying right now, dude. I haven't had to come up like this in so long, dude. Oh my god. 
Oh my gosh, dude. Holy crap. Oh my fucking god. Wow. Holy shit, dude. Oh Let's my fast gosh. Forward. Dude. Okay, wait, I can't believe it. What, what did I win on the big one? How much was the bet size and how much did I win? Five. I swear on my life. I swear on my fucking life above. He's gonna play Here we go, game. guys. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! <gasps> 12,000. He won four on that. This is when he calls his mom. Oh my god, dude. I just made $12,000. Oh my fucking god. He's so oh full of shit. Oh my fucking god. He's lost $2 oh million. Dollars. Now he's gonna give a fuck about 12,000. Oh Get the fuck out of here. Holy fucking shit. Oh my fucking god. My oh life my is turning god. around, mom. It. Oh my god. Mom! Oh my god, mom is down the fucking stairs, bro. I didn't even see that coming. Oh my gosh, dude, that was so good. I gotta call my mom, they're not even home. I'm gonna tell oh them what's happening. Oh my happened. god. Fast forward, I didn't happen every day, dude. Listen to Fast mom. forward. Hold on, the that didn't happen ever. Talk. What do you mean? That's happened twice to me in my life. Like, what the hell? Hopefully my mom answers. Mom, guess what? Mom, guess what? Guess what? I just won twelve thousand dollars. I won't. All right. Me? Lose it all? What? Why is he Me? even doing this shit when he knows he's lost more? Money? <laughs> I won't. You guys want a thousand? I'll give you a thousand. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Dude. Fast forward. All right, now, He's so full of shit. to the part where he is. Bro sitting here acting like $12,000 is life changing when he's lost more money than that. I don't get excited for $100 if I find it because 100 ain't that much to me no more. That's because I got a few hundred oh now. God, I'm hood dude. rich. Look at how much money he's losing. He's at five grand. Oh, my grand God. From the Man, 14 fuck. grand. And then this is when he logs off. But the money's gone already? He logs off so he doesn't... The money's so gone he... that fast? Yeah. No, way. Three minutes what? later. No, hold on, hold on. Stop. The money was gone before I could fucking see it go. How, wait, it, it was too fast. It was like a gunshot. Can we rewind it? Just a little bit. I need to see how it went. Uh, we'll go right here at the 11,000. And that's about, yeah, about a minute long clip. Okay, cool. Oh yeah! Risk that shit, bitch! Oh my god, come on. Oh my god, do it again. Come on, thousand dollars a hand. Okay. Oh my oh. god. Why am I getting into this? That's how I know I'm a fucking gambler too. Oh my god, oh. Dude, come on. <laughs> oh my god, it's over. Oh, oh, I'm getting sucked in. Now I see the appeal. He's back oh up. Oh my god, dude. Where's the money going? Last one. It's always the last one. Lost. Oh my Lost. god. A thousand. Lost. Oh my god, dude. Bro, you gotta pull out. Oh my god. Okay, now at this point, Man, you don't want to see chat. You don't want the chat to see he's gonna lose it all. So just So he turned off the camera? Yeah, he turns off the camera. But three minutes later, he's gonna come into chat and Say Why? Check it out. Why? Why would Boss Man Jack? I lost it all. I did. I'm going to rehab. Right there. Tell me you didn't lose <laughs> it all. I did. I did. I'm going to rehab. I'm going to rehab. Like, is he going to rehab for real, or is he like fake going to rehab? No, just wait. I'm not even kidding. I lost it all. I'll see y'all in a month. Is he really leaving? He deleted his Discord after this. I'm deleting that, my kick. He deleted he, the Discord server. Which, that's how he begged for money. I'm really? I'm the Discord. I'm going to read this real quick. I'm deleting the Discord. Take care, everyone. Y'all are the shit. At least some of y'all are. I'm truly going to miss doing this. I really am. But I can't do it anymore. It's completely ruined my life. My life is completely ruined from gambling. Dude, when I was a kid, I had a gambling problem. I'm not even joking. 
look at that. He was back on state gambling two hours later. I guess he didn't make it to rehab because there was a clip today. This motherfucker here. Bro, I used to like play, I used to play dice and shit with hall monitors in school and gang members. And when you owed them money, it resulted in a beating. That's how I stopped gambling. All Bo's man Jack needs is someone to beat the shit out of him and throw him down the stairs a few times. He'll quit or he'll pay his debts. I love, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I'm turning the XQC. I now see the appeal of just watching this dude hit shit and slowly go insane. It all makes sense now. Oh, it's amazing. I, I caught on to it a month ago and it's just, it's like a roller coaster. It's so good. He gets felted every day for tens of thousands a day. He's doing a thousand dollar hands on fucking Minesweeper or, or a coin flip. I saw him bet $5,000 on a coin flip the other day. Dude, I can't. Like, I can't fat. Like, $100 I could see. But five grand. That's too much money to gamble, dude. It's all losses. It's, it's just, you can't. I got nothing. I, I just, uh, $5,000 on a coin flip just seems so insane to me. And he does it multiple times. Like, it's not just one coin flip. It's just click, 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 click. Where does he keep getting the money? They only give him, like, what, $500 a day, you say? Uh, he'll run up, you know, he'll win. He'll win a, a couple of thousand playing uh, Plinko or something. He's hit like a thousand X on Plinko maybe three times. He does win, but he never takes the winnings. He just <laughs> gives it right back. You got to love gamblers. Here's another one. Here's another. He paid gambler. seven grand for a scratch off. What? Yeah. Oh, no, not Aiden Ross again. Now, everyone has seen, probably seen this, but I just want to. Let everyone know how stupid Aiden Ross is. You do not play three card money with someone that brings their own cards. Now, this I want y'all to take a look at this person right here to the left of Twenty One Savage. As soon as Aiden leans forward to look at the chat, look at the computer, and he's out of view of this guy, he's going to point at the card for Twenty One to pick. That one. Show Bro, first, really? Show first last time. Don't be weird. You, he seemed confident. Don't be weird. Oh Show my first. God. I, I'm so cool. sick of seeing white Say dudes with money just piss it away. <laughs> huh? Say Dada. Come on, put your in. Say Dada. Dada. <laughs> what the fuck you doing? Fuck! What you had? Thousand. I'm so tired of seeing $250,000 get thrown around. I agree with Chad. I feel this shit's fake. Well, 21 <laughs> did give him the money back. He, he did wire it back. Um, I don't know why he would, why 21 would actually try to fake that. Why they, anyone would fake this because it's a bad look on Because then you could sell fucking, man, come on. Bad look on everyone today, bro. Aiden Ross sold his fucking fan some milk coins and got the bag. And nobody saw it was a bad look. This motherfucker could shit on somebody on camera. They'd still love his ass and buy something. <laughs> but let's not play. Let's not pretend that most of the people into this shit are like um, <laughs> Fortune 500 members. You know what I'm saying? Major productive members of society. Come on now, dog. Playing games here. It's like saying DSP's chat is on it. These fries suck. Uh, actually, we need to uh, a couple more super chats because they're backing uh, up again. Tronathon two four two with the five dollars. A Korean company is thinking of giving seventy five grand each to employees who have children. Things are getting desperate. Yeah, that's because um, South Korea had, um, what the fuck is it called again? The Ministry of Women or the Ministry of Diversity and also the bullshit? Yeah. Bro, South Korean women that were feminists went insane. So they were like, no heterosexual relationships, no heterosexual sh sex. And they were like, no heterosexual birth giving. And I'm like, well, how do the gays do it? Blown a bong with the five dollars. I can't believe I've never seen you stream before. This is way more entertaining than I anticipated. Also, agree on the no Western media. Go anime. Well, thank you so much for yeah, watching straight this bong. <laughs> I gotta admit to you, like this stream is actually not going well. There's no plan. I'm taking a little bit of drugs, but I'm pacing myself. Unlike Review Tech USA, that motherfucker took a hundred milligram to the face and it makes uh, calls. He was Chinese eyed from the top to the toes.
I cut my edibles into little bite-sized bits so I don't get too fucked up to do my job. That's how you know I'm a professional. Uh, fantastic Mr. Knox for $5. If Hassan is middle class, then people like me are well off. Man, wish that was true. Either he believes his own BS or loves to smell his own farts and cope. No, his fan base is full of people that um they're the they the the they eat the rich group, they're the seize the means of production group. They're the people that when Twitter was talking about Biden getting more IRS agents to look for people tax dodging. I swear to God, someone in chat was like, anyone? Because they were going to like check people's bank accounts for $500 transactions. Anyone who has transactions over $500 to their account is up to no good and should be monitored. Those are the people he placates to. The type of psychopaths that think if you got $500, you, you're affluent. If you got five grand, you're Jesus Christ. Hey, what's up, Frank? The Think Tank. Thank you for becoming a member. I forgot my point. 600. Fine. I was close, man. I'm on drugs. God damn it. Richard Lamp here for $5. I probably got that wrong. Uh-oh. Hold on. Low power mode. Battery dying. Uh, are you looking to hire an editor? I've never done it before, but I know I could figure it out. Taught myself graphics designs. I can learn how to edit. Well, editing cringe is a, it's an interesting thing that I, I myself am not very good at, and I taught myself editing. That's why my editing sucks. Uh, Jewish Baker, $2. Broke boy here. Ah, question. Do you like Warhammer? Yes, I was getting into Warhammer lore. But I haven't bought any figures to paint because I know it's a slippery slope. If I'm just checking out Warhammer lore and enjoying it, buying the books, if I buy a fucking Space Marine, then I know I'll need a Space Marine army. Then I got a Space Marine army, I'll need Gilliman. Then if I have Gilliman, I'm going to need like... <laughs> See how it goes? And before you know it, you're in debt for thousands of dollars. I've already done it with Gundam. Elijah Woods for $2. Watch Cowboy Bebop because of you. Great show. It is great. I agree. Sir Reefer. I probably got that wrong. Is Five subs! <laughs> Fuel Himmel for 420. MX 49. Ah, 49 Mexican pesos. Grimstone for five CA dollars. Just wanted to say thanks for the content. As fucked as it sounds, your voice for some reason is fucked. As it sounds, you're a voice of reason these days. Yeah, I agree with you, dude. But when common sense is now a bigoted offense, we all know we're in trouble. Lulu for $5, resting at the gas station. What's your opinion on Gundam Seed Freedom movie that will come out in America soon? I'm probably not going to see it. I'm not going to lie to you. Ben Adams has entered the chat. What's up, Benny? Captain Spear for $10. I left MT... Vernon, New York, I probably got that wrong, a lifetime ago. When I went back to visit, the neighborhood was the same, but the city was just broke from one end to another. I can't imagine living there again. There are a lot of broke areas in upstate New York that look like ghost towns. I get it. <laughs> Midnight Sun for $50. Got to... Is there any plan for Clanky D Girl Zelda to go live on stream with you? If not, then I hope they are well. Um, D girl, uh, had some medical stuff go on. I think she's back at it again. Clanky, I believe is good. I haven't talked to him much. Zeltex, I hear from once in a good while. He did say he wanted to do a live stream. So maybe we'll do a live stream on YouTube sometime soon. I don't know. People pitch things to me. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Sometimes people pitch things to me and I'm asleep. Uh, Katza, a.k.a. for $5. I'll probably Katza. I got it wrong. Fuck it. Would love to see a music collab between you and Critical. But Critical makes music? Uh, Chaos in Control for $2. Hype for Aerial Blade. We demand Jiggle Figgits. Jiggle Figgits. Jiggle Figgits. I'll take over for you. Fry Lord Food with the $3. If you have the money, would you dabble in Warhammer? I do have enough money to buy Space Marines, but I know it's a slippery slope. You get one, you're gonna get too many. You can't help yourself. Snoopy Snoop Diz becomes Diesel. a new member. Um, Tomok with the twenty dollars. Thanks, Gundam. I value your input. Thank I you. can't remember what I said. <laughs> uh, me, Mister, a member for six months. Sorry, my gin is bad. Your content is fire, Gundam. Listen here, me, Minster, Maestral, Master. 
Life is but a walking shadow. A poor player who struts and frets his hour upon the stage and is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. What does that mean? I don't know. I was going to say something else, and for some reason, I just started quoting Shakespeare. Uh, your generation just, I would blame social media. I really feel that after it got as big as it did, it went from cool to shitty. Like back in the day, you could hook up with hot girls online, and now it's like you just pay them to speak to you. You you talk to a chick, and she's like, um, you want to talk to me for a date? Venmo and cash mac me. And I'm like, bitch, fuck you. I'm wearing off-white Jordans. I'm hood rich. How dare you? I forgot my point. Josh Sater Kenoshi with the Canadian Five. Wait, you've never seen Eureka Seven? Bro, you've got to check it out. Bro, like my life, if you knew how I really lived, if people really saw how I lived, they'd probably tell me to bubble myself because I have no reason to live. <laughs> like I wake up, I'll tell you my day. I wake up from horrible sleep because my cat is like a senior citizen. He's like, He's over 20 years old in human years. So for cats, he's supposed to be like dead like three years ago. And he like, he gets up and he, he wants fresh water. Smokey has to have fresh water. And, and on top of that, he won't drink tap water, dude. My cat won't drink tap water. If I give the cat tap water, he will piss on the floor. And one time he shit on the wall. How does a cat shit on the wall? Don't know. He didn't have any shit on his paws. How did he do it? Unsolved mysteries. Point being, he gets up and he starts screaming at the top of his lung. Ah! Like that. Like you think he's dying. So I get up. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And he goes, he jumps on his little table and he puts his paw in the bowl. And he's like, this water is fucking warm, you goon. So then I pull cold water in his bowl. That's tap. No, not tap. He has to have bottled pulling springs because he's a piece of shit. And I can't wait for him to die. <laughs> then I go back to sleep. And if I'm stupid, I'll leave my phone on. And it just starts ringing like crazy. It's like, hello, it's a Gundam. This is YouTube. A Twitch dot nobody remembers is trying to sue you. Get fucked. <laughs> she put a copyright claim on you. I'm like, bro, really, bro? I just got up. Go fuck yourself. Then it's like, bing, bing, bing. YouTube, it's a Gundam. Your click channel has been removed from the partner program because you violated blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, go fuck yourself. Then when I finally get up, then I have to, like, you know, clean the cat's litter box. You got to make Fluffy her breakfast, her special meal. I'm not even getting into that. Then I get to brush my teeth, wash my face, take a piss, and then sit at this godforsaken computer and then start editing a video, knowing it has to be up in 24 hours because everything has a 24-hour life cycle. And you can't make the deadline. And everybody else is living their life. Like, that Star Wars girl is like, hey, you want to come do this, this, this? I'm like, I can't come and do that. I'm editing. And then she goes... You're always editing. Turns out she was getting married. Congratulations. I missed it. Oh, actually, yeah, I can bring up her uh, her cake. I... Ah, not the cake. <laughs> I don't care. That Star Wars girl got fucking scammed. Just off the phone with the baker who was beyond rude. So here it, is. here it goes. The only bad part of my wedding was the cake. On the left is what I asked for with pearls and paid 850 bucks. For. And on the right is what we got. We didn't even cut it because we didn't want any pictures. It was so ugly. The baker even agreed it was a clown cake. She refused to give us a refund. Thank God I bought those cupcakes for a thousand dollars. This is why I don't show my face. That baker knew exactly who that Star Wars girl was. One hundred percent. The baker knew who she was. And she's probably like, "Oh, it's that bitch that fucking said that." Whatever the fuck show sucked. I love Disney. And then they just gave her this cake, dropped off, and said, go fuck yourself. They put Funko Pop. Uh, That's Funko Pops? I don't know if it's Funko. Look at this. This this is a child's cake. You can't even eat the little fuckers, which With would be weird. With little dicks and the Ukrainian flags. See. That does look like a dick. Uh, I, I can't I make don't it know. bigger. I, I don't know, man. I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> They're just like little... Cheap ass figures, eight fifty, eight fifty. Chat. That's what you get for living in California. <laughs> <laughs> you got what you voted for, lady. I need to stop. She will message me. <laughs> Congratulations on your on your nuptials, there. That Star Wars girl. Congratulations. Congratulations on the cake. I wonder what Cecil said. I regret not being there just to hear Cecil's remarks. 
and the free food and the joyous wedding happenings. I also totally miss Chrissy Mayer's uh, engagement party and wedding because I'm always editing. They're like, come out to the party. I look at the fucking thing, the map. I'm like, these motherfuckers are three hours away from me. By the time I get there, the party's over. Then I got to drive back in the middle of the night. Then I got to edit the next day. I forgot my point. I got a nicer case from, cake from Walt Wegmans. I've never even heard of that place, dude. But yeah, Publix makes a nicer cake than that for like 50 bucks. They knew who she was and they absolutely fucking got her. Totally. It's probably like a Disney totally fan. Did. That's why you don't show your face because people realize who you are. And a lot of people, they like can't just separate you from the shit you're doing online. Like, even when it comes to women, like trying to hook up with me and stuff, right? They expect me to be this 24 7. 24 madman. Ah, ah, fuck you, globalists. Then when the women meet me, they're like, wow, you're really um, relaxed and chilled and laid back and you haven't made fun of me or anything. And I'm like, yeah. What am I supposed to do? Tell you I hate those fucking shoes? Because I do. <laughs> <laughs> fucking witch shoes. <laughs> How dare you <laughs> see me with these ugly fucking pumps? God damn it. Dylan Mulvaney had better shoes. Okay, what else is next? Uh, let's see here. Chaos and control with the $5. Vol should marry Ralph's ex-wife Amanda. Now there's a prize Shetland pony. Oh my God, delicious. I just saw someone in chat say that this is sketchy. This is gunner's therapy. You're right, sketchy it is. Because I lost my insurance. <laughs> and to get my insurance back. Bro, they called me the fucking phone. They're like, oh, it's, yeah, yeah, you asked about insurance. And I'm like, yeah, I need my insurance renewed, yada, blah, 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 blah. And they go, okay, we're looking out for the things for you. And here's a good one. This is affordable. And it was shitty fucking insurance. It was bronze tier. Bronze tier in New York is almost $700. $700 for them to maybe save my ass. What the fuck is that? But then migrants get a thousand. Yeah, health insurance. God damn it, you know. I forgot my point. Look, there's, there's, oh, that's Camelot. right. I can't afford therapy because I don't have insurance. Camelot made it to the wedding and he was from Alabama. He had to stay in an airport for 24 hours. What the fuck were you doing, Gundam? I could tell you right now, Camelot has editors and shit. Camelot ain't <laughs> sitting in a Dabe <laughs> premiere for fucking 12 hours, three days straight to put out a video that only gets 200k views because he's been blacklisted for saying something that somebody felt was offensive. Camelot has free fucking time. A lot of people do. Fuck. I might just hire that guy who sent the super chat. He says he can't hit it. The dog. You will think this is an iPhone factory. I will constantly come in the room with my hair and a ponytail and a fucking necktie on. No, not necktie. Turtleneck. Like that guy who died of cancer at Apple. What's his name? Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. And I will fucking yell at you and break you. Then take all the credit. Camelot has money. Everybody has money. All right. I'm a hood rich. Hood Rich isn't real money. Like, I have some cool shoes. <laughs> That's Hood Rich. That's Hood Rich. I'll go outside looking like shit and have, like, the rarest Jordans you've ever seen. <laughs> He's not kidding, Chad. He's got people, some badass shoes. People walk up to me and give me money because they think I'm homeless. And I'm like, nah, dude, look at these shoes. They're fucking knitted. You know how many people have knitted Jordans? It's me, Kanye West, a black guy called Sway, and Charlemagne. And they're like, the poor thing is delusional. All right. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, it's a super uh, sticker. Thank you. Uh, I can't okay. read that uh, name. Drew Hernandez with the ten, uh, $20 flying in airplanes run by low IQ diversity hires makes me extremely nervous. Come on my show. You are based. Who's that guy? Thank you for the $20 and you make me nervous now. I see why Hassan flies private. Uh, just DM me, uh, Drew Hernandez, and um, we can talk. You want to get your promised. channel demonetized? Yeah. You I'm the guy to talk to. You want to have your channel removed from monetization? <laughs> Ross Pendragon uh, has become a member. Thank you. Chaos Proxy with the $20. God bless you. Just paying my quality content weekly dues. Thank you. Yeah. Max you know, stuff. I have a question. Go ahead. Can we get Dylan Mulvaney on the show? Because I have an idea. I I'll want try. Dylan Mulvaney to be my Richard Simmons. 
make a make a we can clip this part and you can make a plea yeah, to like, Dylan to come on the show. Dylan, you should come on my show. I'm probably going to say things that you would find rude and offensive, but they'll be funny. <laughs> I'm going to use your clout to gain points in the gay community and make money. I would like to tank. No, I want to be the representative of a, a booze called Night Train. It's sold in California. They still have Night Train. Now, that's a cheap liquor. I think they could. Where's Night Train at? Did he stop? Night Train. Now, keep the chats coming as I look for liquor. All right, Max Stone with the five dollars. Papa Gundam, I love the channel, especially the unboxing with Fluffy. The live streams were the best idea yet. Look forward to them every week. Really, you look the forward to this? One is, uh, <laughs> dude. I don't even look forward to this. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> what are you talking about? You oh, are up this. my ass and around the this. corner. Like uh, we got this and this on the docket. Here's the the Google Doc. You got to read. And then I look at the Google Doc and it's fucking blank. And I don't even say shit till the show starts. I'm like, okay, fuck it. <laughs> I just lead him in blind and I'm just throwing stuff at him left and right. I love it. Ignatius Mang Esquire with the $10. I am sure that many have asked, but I am new here. Is there any chance your Avatar t-shirt could be merched? It's technically not Wait, HST. There, hold on. Let me look. Because technically there are shirts. But then I, I think I forgot to pay for the domain name. Uh, I guess somebody took Dick Bag Productions from. Oh man, I have shirts here somewhere. I just, I don't know. <laughs> DM <laughs> like, me and I'll, fi I'll find you the shirts, like Ignatius. Ignatius. I gotta buy, dude. They don't have any respect for me. I think I'm with some T-shirt shop, and I'm like, "Can I have free samples of my own shirt?" And they're like, "Yeah, you can have a sample of your own shirt if you pay for the materials, dude." And I'm like, I'm a very big YouTuber. I hang out with Critical Drinker. I demand at least one of my own T-shirts for free. Long story short, I pay for my shirts. So uh, I can't remember my point. D DSP got better treatment by Teespring. He did. He really did. Like, that's not even a joke. Teespring sucked his dick. They helped him make designs because Phil is creatively bankrupt. Teespring. These motherfuckers, when I tried to give them a shirt, all original art. They're like, this art is stolen from someplace else. I'm like, where? Then they never reply. Oh, fuck yourself. You motherfuckers. Ah. Um, no, I'm dizzy as fuck. Spartan Laser with the $10. Been watching for years, and I've always enjoyed your content, Gunner. God bless you, Spartan. Thank you for all the laughs through it all. Keep it up. We support you, brother. I wish like I could make videos like the live streams where I just say it the hell I want, but for some reason, you could be wild on live streams and not real life. Uh... Richard Lampier with the $2. Who's talking in the background? Where do I email? Oh, that is the producer of the show. Without him, a lot of this wouldn't be possible because I lack the energy to give a damn some days. I'm not even going to lie to you. I uh, have guns and I have looked them in the face before. And I'll do it again. You can contact me on Twitter at, at Josh Pescator. Um, yeah, I'm around. Just DM me. Uh, do, 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 do. James Spinner with the twenty dollars. Let's get some leathers and ride safe. I do get have leathers. leathers. I did just the wrong. Okay, years ago, like the suit I bought was an RS Tai Chi GP Max two hundred or something like that. Got it real good on a sweet deal. This dude was a racer and he is quitting racing. So I got like a three thousand dollars suit for a few hundred bucks. I love the wheel and deal. It's like a Native American thing. I think bartering is one of my favorite things to do. That's what I hate about people today. You try to barter with them and they don't even play the game. It's no fun buying stuff. Anyway, the suit, though, the thing was the guy was kind of like he was a little short. And when I say short, I mean, he's a lot shorter than I am. So he'd be like five, seven or something or six. I'm five, ten, maybe eleven. I don't know. I got to look at my driver's license. So I was wearing a motorcycle suit made for a dude smaller than me. But I was so fit before YouTube that like I could wear it, but I had to be hunched over a little bit. It was a great suit, man. So now I've been getting really into lifting weights and stuff. And I didn't think about it in the sense of lifting weights, your arms and stuff get bigger, right? Because no matter what you do, you still feel like a scrawny piece of shit. So I put on the leather suit and my bicep can't fit in it no more. I can't even lift up my fucking arm. And I'm like, it's fucking tight. Then I start putting on my shirts. And I noticed a lot of those are really tight in the arms too now. It looks cool though when you flex. You know, I get like King Cobra. I'm like, 
Then I take pictures and show chicks like, check this shit out. We need a King Cobra <laughs> background for you. I got to get. No, no. I almost put up King Cobra's teeth because I'm fucked up right now. Uh, I don't remember my point is. Oh, yeah. Leathers are real expensive now. Thanks to inflation. Before you could get a really nice motorcycle suit that fit you for like two grand. Now, a motorcycle suit that isn't tailored to you starts at two grand. What the fuck is this? And if you want a motorcycle suit that's actually safe, like really safe, like it has an airbag in it. And I'm not going to lie to you. I crash motorcycles, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes you get sexy. You feel it. You're in the zone. I'm like that dude when he's gambling. I gamble with my life. He gambles with money. So I'm going through a turn in the mountains of New York. And, you know, your knees dragging and your elbows real close to the fucking ground. And you're like, it'd be so cool if my elbow touched the ground. But you're not filming it because I'm an idiot. Anyway, the Elmo did touch the ground and the bike slipped from under me because it was too low. I had normal street tires on like a stupid bitch. You want to touch the ground, you need race slicks. Doy. But sometimes you just lose your mind. Point being, I need a new leather suit and a good wolf airbag so I don't break my bones. It's like $4,000. It's absolutely ridiculous. I need to create a gambling site and rob this Biggle Me Blades guy. What is his name? Tickle Me Winks? Uh, only use me blade. No, the guy no. who's gambling, Boozman Jack. Oh, uh, boss Man Jack. Boss Man Jack. Close enough. <laughs> uh, let me go. Well, let me go ahead and run through these because we've got a, a couple, a uh, couple more. Uh... Ross Pendragon. Oh, is that like a callback to Arthur Uther Pendragon? Anyway, I'd rather spend all my money on Nikki Nike and lease the wife who's worth worth it. What? The Nikes are worth it. The Nikes will stay with you for life if you take care of them. The wife who is temporary. Chaos, Chaos control and control. Oh, you go ahead. You go ahead. Boss man was an old RuneScape gambler. RuneScape gambling? Trinity of the Phoenix for five. Did you see the blackjack dealer that roasted the streamer? That shit was hilarious. Do we have that? Uh, I can pull that up. I actually do know what they're talking about. Oh, was the female avatar returning? Skynet is online. Um... Uh, what's the name of that comment again? Uh, V up B studio, whatever. Like, uh, they closed down, they went bankrupt. So I couldn't use the avatars anyway. I am pitching around the idea to have a female version of this. Cause I thought it'd be funny as fuck to like stream on Twitch and pretend it's a topless stream. But you know, uh, these things are expensive, dude. You don't even want to know what this cost. Uh, Maximus is 2400 with the two dollars don't be full gun them rich is a low cow you i know didn't that. know what was going on i just let rich speak his piece because <laughs> it was definitely important <laughs> i don't know why me personally like bro i've been rejected from jobs before i remember when i was trying to become a member of fnt and it didn't work out i didn't get high and hop on stream to tell people Chaos in control, 199. It's funny how only the wealthy are... Con That's so right, dude. Oh, that wait. Clip that is that a about. human? Or is that a robot? That's a robot, ain't it? No, no. This is a human. This is a... Uh, I think it's the stake. No, FanDuel Casino. There's someone on the other side, the streamer, who is interacting with this blackjack dealer. Bro, bro, bro. What the fuck is this? Are we like... It, well, it's good. What? It's good. This is, this is gambling now. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> Woo! He talking about <laughs> me. Getting fired. Who getting fired? <laughs> he no. got hood real quick. All bets is closed. Yeah, right. It's your Let last see. day, Go buddy. <laughs> Dealer show with a seven. That's why you I got two jobs. Get... I think it was. <laughs> Oh, I'm four in the morning playing blackjack. Fucking loser. <laughs> Why are you trying to bug with me? Hold on. Facts. Sending that <laughs> to your manager. Yo, eyes gone. I was the manager. I gave this motherfucker a raise. He's real as shit. He ain't he got no time for none of this bullshit. He got two real jobs. He fed the fuck up. Need you got to deal with some asshole streaming to like 50 people. You said you're streaming, you're, you're playing blackjack at four in the morning. Motherfucker, you're dealing at four in the morning. <laughs> Dude, he's doing what he got to to survive. I understand the dealer. He just got, he, he has to do this shit. If there's a better opportunity, his ass would be in bed. Oh, that's good.
Of that's it. Where's the rest of it? That's, that's it. That's the, That's all the clip. No, it can't stop there. There's got to be more shit talking. Ain't no way the deal was done there. Nah, that was it. Bro. Uh, let me see here. Josh Sitter Konashi with the Canadian Five. Whatever happened to the uh, Bernie Eat the Rich girl? Oh, we oh, talked about her. oh my God. Don't even fucking start me on Nicolo, bro. Not today. Not today, Satan. Nicolo Lowe is she's rich as fuck. So she ain't about eat the rich no more. Now when she talks about like going after rich people, she says billionaires. The bitch is just like Bernie Sanders. When I said the rich, I meant the, the billionaires, not the millionaires, because she's a millionaire. Nicolo Lowe's Twitter, if you want to get depressed, is thirst traps and literally promotions. People bitch about me doing ads on my YouTube videos. This bitch's Twitter is nothing but an ad. Every way, right and center. The bitch working with Chipotle. She working with fucking Arby's. She's working with Razor. Don't show it to me! <laughs> She's got less talent than my cat's asshole taking a shit on a Friday morning. And somehow they just love work at her. Ah, you know what? No, I'm not going to say it. I am. I have a final solution for Sims. <laughs> oh, this is my first time hosting. I have found a new respect for hosts. It's harder than it looks. Ooh, Nico hosting arc. Yeah, you can fucking host at Razors. They sell some piece of shit made in China. That ain't worth the plastic it came out of. Ugh, fuck yourself. Not her, I mean Razor in general. Fuck you. They rejected me. I don't give a fuck no more. I'm done playing Mr. Nice Guy, Mr. Diplomat. Please give me some work. Meanwhile, you fucking work with a girl who couldn't install a CPU. Ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> I tried to beat the table like Cobra with a hat, but I couldn't no, keep it up. Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to get rid of the stream real quick. D7 yeah, this Origin, $5. What's your favorite mobile suit from the Universal Century? RX-93 New Gundam or MS-0. No, is it MS-06? No, MS-0 is... I'm getting Sasabi's numbers wrong. Fuck it, I'm too high. Let's all P.O. Box Gundam 8. True army of Gundams. Oh, man. Uh, Noah's Zork? For $2, what was the anime you recommended with a chick? Free Ren Journeys, and I think in Japanese is Shoshon no Free Ren or something like that. Vincent Taylor for the $5. Bro, Warhammer is no joke. You start with one set. Then you'll have 4,000 point army. I have armies. I know. I know, Vincent. That's why I didn't buy any. I am a fucking addict, okay? That's why... I quit drinking MSN 04. Thank you. That's why I quit drinking until what's that day? That day, uh, the new yes, year. Sir. No, not that day. Fuck yesterday. I started drinking for New Year's Eve, bro. And I drank from the 1st of January till fucking get, let me get out my calendar here. I stopped drinking like on the 23rd or 4th because I realized that my alcoholism was creeping back up. And like any true alcoholic, I kept saying I could quit any time. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like banging bottles. Like, it's not an issue if I drink it out of a glass. <laughs> Cause I can pace myself before I knew it. Three weeks had gone by and I was drinking nonstop. And then, like any true alcoholic, I blamed everything but myself. I <laughs> I was in the mirror combing my hair and I'm like, I was drinking for a month because of my Native American ancestry. I had no chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is going off the rails. Oh, Mr. J with the $5. How do you refund a super chat? Uh, super chat us again and we'll tell you how. Uh, Redbird, no. UJ76 with the $2. Best Eminem song in your opinion? Uh, the one where he was being homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> the one where he went after Trump. Which one was that? The fuck that one. I was like, I like the one where it was like, um, homophobic. I'm not heterophobic. 
you stared at my balls, watching my genitals bulging. Those are my motherfucking balls. You better let go of them. They belong in my store. Them. You'll never get hold of them. Hey, it's me, Versace. Look, somebody shot me. And I was just checking the mail. Do you get it? Checking the mail. <laughs> when I heard that bar, I fucking died. I was like, this dude's the goat. <laughs> new Eminem is weak. I don't care for that one. New Eminem sucks. Jewish yeah. Baker with the two pounds. Bro, can you legit... Bro, you can legit have some of mine bad choices. Well, what are we having that's a bad choice? I'm all about it. Edward, Edward Boyer, Boyer the third. Five dollars. Will we see you soon on Friday Night Tights anytime soon? Not if they see this show. I don't know. Uh, I haven't heard from them in a while. Darth Revan won uh, with the five dollars. If you're trying to get a current setting Primark Commander, I would recommend Lion since he has made a return to the galaxy in his new book. You're not getting me to buy those things. Richard Lampier with the $5. Dude, your editing is legit. One of the reasons I literally watched every upload you've posted over the last seven to eight years, I would edit for free. Now that's a man <laughs> that knows how to get a job. <laughs> yeah. Because I exploit people. Burb, Burb with the $5. Skip the TTRPG and find some niche and weird games to play. Rule of Rose, Laser Shoot Larry. I played that. Sneak King are some fun ones. The classic all-time game was Rumble Rose, where you got to play as hot chicks in bikinis wrestling. Darkington with <clears the> $10. <throat> if you do cave to Warhammer models, I'd recommend the classic Space Marine kits over the Primaris Marines. They come with a lot of more variations to make each model unique, even if they are a bit squatty. And it's just too much, dude. I'm having trouble painting Gundam model kits, dude. Like, yeah, I get obsessed with detail, and I'll piss away hours on something. Warhammer is just, it's, it's lose every which way. You go on there, and you paint, and if you're like me, you'll get obsessed. You'll piss away time. Then, I won't be able to edit, because I'll be broke, and I'll be painting figures. Chaos and Control with the $2. Dylan reminds me of a large predatory bird. I agree. Let me get a good look at my dear sweet Dylan. Uh, it's Anus. Friend of the show. How you doing, Anus? Two dollars. My I lead edit, designer. I edit in Adobe all day. It's a Gundam 2024. She has seen all of my, like, don't listen to her. She's the one telling me I need to go to sleep and have a normal life. While she memes on me in chat. Uh, shout out. It's Anus. Winky Wonk. Winky Wonk. Wanky Woo. woo. Wanky woo. Clip it. Two to two pounds. You smell like you smelled Nina Infinity's Sarlacc pit. I know Sarlacc pit, but I don't know who Nina Infinity is. She is on. Is it Geeks and Gamers? I don't know. It, in one of those fellowship shows. Uh, Silver Wolf just became a member. Uh, James Thank Boyd you, Silver Wolf. With the two dollars, uh, GWO Gundam Gundam World Order. Stay awesome, brother. I'm going to start the meme world order. Merrick Miller with the $5. Where's the Chris Chan video? I keep seeing bits about uh, you and as scaring neurotic. That's what I'm saying. I, I do Dude, I got in trouble at the time. And then I realized there was no way I could do a Chris Chan video the way I wanted to. Because uh, I would have focused on everything Chris Chan was doing. Like the stalking woman, the pickle man, uh, the I want woman saga. That was short lived. The fact that I probably would have dedicated 10 minutes alone to um, Blue Spike making Chris Chan break his Sonichu medallion into pieces and then shove it up his own ass. It was pure comedy gold. It was so fucked. Even the other, this is, this is back in my time when we were kids. Like Blue Spike was the type of kid I hung out with who was like tormenting Chris Chan. And to think of like how I used to have fun like that too, tormenting other human beings. And now the kids today are like, oh my God, carbon emissions, recycle. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there's too much money going to rich people. Oh, the five day work week is killing me. Back when I was a kid, we were like, fuck, like looking for people to fuck with and shit to do. You, you set things on fire, you know, you built clubhouses, you ran from the cops, you ran from dogs, you ran from the police, you got into fist fights. Those are the good old, you picked up a gambling habit, you drank early. You kids today are all gay. 
Durag Vince with the five dollars. Yo Gundam, be a real brother and pass the blunt over. Stop nagging Pokemon. No one likes a N word. You're not gonna get me. Sal the hamster <laughs> <laughs> with the twenty dollars. Love the free run video. Surprise! You did mention Stark versus the Dragon. You need to get Gary to watch it. Anything south of Albany is downstate. Um. <clears throat> I didn't want to ruin the show for people. I want them to actually see it. So that's why I didn't say too much about the show. Cause it's really surprising. Like at first you watch it and you're kind of like, eh, this is okay. Then you just get drawn in. And I'd rather people naturally enjoy it rather than me tell you everything that's great. And then you go, well, I knew what was going to happen here. That makes it boring. Space seal with the 20. This is for your cat. He sounds amazing. Smokey. The cat is a dictator. Uh, J and KP with the $2. Would you put a PG Zeta together for me? J KP, you're crazy. Do you know how much detail is in a PG Zeta? You probably do. That shit would take at my current rate of building speed while also editing and trying to run a business because New York state says I have to be one. These motherfuckers. They're like, you're a business and we have to tax you accordingly. And I'm like, I'm a dude in his fucking apartment making dick and fart jokes online. That's not a business. What was my point? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I have to deal with that. And building, like, one of those kits would take literally a month or two at my current rate. On top of that, who's paying for the time? That's hundreds of hours. Good Lord, sir. <laughs> Lord Botha with the $5. Gundam streams are like Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's a show about nothing, and I love it. See, he gets it. He gets it. Thank God someone gets it. Uh, Rihanna Keeves with the $5 producer, Josh set up a 50, 50 guess, uh, Gundam gets it. I guess I donate 20 subs. Please set up a 50, 50 guess. 50, 50 guess of what? Wait, are we like are doing we gambling? gambling? Not with me. Nope. No, I am a recovery. Yeah, three. <laughs> I literally just told chat that I was gambling with hall monitors and being beaten up and robbed <laughs> because I owe debts. And you're like, let's get it back into gambling. Sounds like fun. <laughs> He just Boss admitted man to Jack. drinking again. Gundam Man Jack in a couple of weeks. I'd Jeff be worse than Boss Man Jack because I would be drunk, I'd be gambling, and I would probably be around Hell's Angels again, which I don't recommend. And then the videos you get would be like live streams of me running from the police. It'd be like Andy Dick, but more interesting, baby. And not gay. Jeff Romain with the $10. Love the video, bro. P please keep being based and take the money I would have spent on dumb stuff. Would you, you, you have succeeded you in your mission, my friend. <laughs> Jim Power with the $2. I miss the old 3D model. Eh, I don't know if I agree with that. I kind of miss it, too, because it was more fun to move it around. But <clears throat> the fucking thing. It was janky as fuck, but I loved it. I had to set up so many... I had so many keyboard shortcut, shortcuts I had to set up to make it work just to get expressions. So then I had to, it was like playing piano at times because I'd be moving the character around. And I'm like, I have to type in alt plus seven to get arm waving emotion, alt W for shock face. Like I was doing all of that shit. People have no idea what I was going through to make those trash videos. Ross Pendragon with the five. No, my name comes from my granddad who didn't want to have the name Washington. It worked on Asian women. Ross ah. Oh, Echo, Desca. Echo Kaslana with the $10. Longtime viewer that appreciates the laughs you give out. This is the most I can give at the moment as a working class gal. Don't let the world crush you. Much love. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for the money. And I understand how it is. Um, you know, it, you don't have to say you apologize for sending any amount of money. Because people sending money to me always surprises me and shocks me. I don't believe it's real. Like, uh, I don't believe any of this is real. The, even if money hits my account, I still look at it like I better hold on to this for a few days. Because then the government will come in and the, I feel like I'm committing a crime or something. <laughs> KH with the, I don't know what that is. We'll just call it $5. Why is there a picture of a plastic girl in the background? Oh, that plastic girl is Dylan Mulvaney, the woman of the year, unironically. Bank leaks <laughs> with the 10 bucks. Gundam, when are you going to upload the guy 3D model to the Thingiverse? I think it was already uploaded. I have yeah, to I, ask Darcy DeFill. He he uploaded that a long time ago. You have yeah, to the, follow his Twitter. That's yeah, a year ago now. Yeah, almost. Yeah, almost a morning. Now, now everyone can own their own Darcy Daffle. 
I actually reached out to the man that um, won the figure and donated the near $6,000 to a uh, charity. Thank you again if you're listening. I would really like to see that review. No pressure. But everyone is wondering what you think of the figure. So if you're watching, give me a holler. Um, I might do, like, uh, me and Darcy have kicked around ideas to do more figures. There is a Derek IP figure in the works that I have named the Cherry Pimp. I've been waiting to get the file. Uh, there's another one where uh, Dark Side Phil is piloted by a roach. It is a whole thing. It's got, like, an LED setup. Everything's in limbo, though, thank God, because my stupid ass would probably be focusing on that, and I shouldn't be. Ray Faulkner with the $10. You are the man, my man. Also, currently going through the 8th MS team and loving it. Still need to see the original series and War in the Pocket. The beauty of those old animes is the story and the animation, except for, like, the original series. We're not getting anything like that again, unless, like, you look at Gundam Engage, but that's a Japanese mobile game. The sad thing is, it has some amazing animation and story plot lines from the UC timeline. It looks sick as shit, but everything's in Japanese. And my Japanese is real bad for somebody who's been studying it for like a year. Uh, Scott Steiner, the mathematician, watching V Gundam. Did you finish Redo of Healer? Hell no, I did not like Redo of Healer. <laughs> Lou uh, Bone Collection Victory with the $2. Gun, Rich, stop ducking Shinko before pestering Keem. Who's Shinko? Shinko Floor, the one that uh, does the uh, women voices for DSP edits. Ah. Oh. Uh, RX, uh, big up Shinko, by the way. RX animations with the two pounds. Here's one fifth of an HD Leo. Enjoy the plastic crack. Thank you, sir. Ted Comet with the two dollars. Have you heard of Cyrax? He's like Chris in meth. Actually, we have a Cyrax clip. I'm not going to play it tonight because we're already past time. We'll do it next one. Him and Tibbs, just know that was a most excellent stream. It was almost like a Mexican drama. And I would bring it up. I don't know if Gundam would really like Cyrax that much. But... I have to, like, watch and see first. Because how I got into Cobra was, uh, it was like random chance. I'm hanging out with a woman. We're on mushrooms. I'm high out of my mind. She casually goes to the other room and vomits in my sink. Comes back and puts Cobra on the screen. And I was mesmerized by this documentary on King Cobra. I was so high, I watched it twice in a row. I don't know what else. I'm telling you the story for some reason. I forgot. <laughs> uh, Rianu Keeves with the $5. It's not gambling. It's just you guessing on a one-off 50-50 heads or tails spin. If you guess correct, I'll donate 20 subs. So we... Gunning, Fine, go for the spin. I don't care. Well, he doesn't you, have to give the subs you, either you way. You guess heads or tails, and then I guess he spins it. I don't. I mean, what am I going to spin? I don't have. Any How do I not time. have a? Have I have to have money around here somewhere. Fifty fifty. Those are good odds, unless you're on YouTube. How do I not have money in here, dude? I don't. I got a five dollar bill. That's all I got in here. I like. What is this? That's a laser. I don't even know what I do with a laser. It's some guitar picks. Some lip yeah, gloss, while, you're I while you're looking, I'll finish this up because we're almost done. Midnight Avenge with the two dollars. Yes, join Hell's Angels plus Gundam, you native. Bro, I could never join the Hell's fucking Angels. I ain't built for that shit, and I hate Harleys. Noah Zork with the five dollars. It's a it... GoFundum. Yeah! yeah, let's start a GoFundMe where I uh, uh oh, I think my it's dying. Crap. Okay, it's we're dead. almost done. We got like two more. Uh, Rocket and Sano with the five dollars. Do you think in your wildest streams any of the Dylan related stuff would actually happen? Also, what are your thoughts on Doozy Bots? Uh what is my wildest dreams? Any of this Dylan related stuff would actually happen. Nobody saw Dylan coming. Uh, I could dare say Dylan is a sign of the apocalypse, <laughs> the end of an empire. Dylan is the herald of it all. This is the end of Rome. Tuck your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye, energy. Also, I have no idea what that was. Rihanna Keeves with $5. If Gundam won't make the guess, I'll accept producer Josh making the guess instead. Heads. Let's go with... I was going to say heads, too. Heads. But it depends on which side he flips the coin from. If Whatever. Well, on next stream, if we got it, go ahead and do it, because we're probably about to shut it down here in just about a second. Pop Topic with the $10. Great content, you, admi you anime figure. Look up Cringe Panda's comment, potential collab. 
I'll I'll check that out. That's the last super chat. Thank you all. Uh, uh, can they hear me still? Just I'm barely. Uh, thank you for coming to today's show about nothing. We learned a lot. We gave a lot. We where the fuck is that plug? We uh, touched on some very important subjects. The rich get richer. The poor get poorer. Um, I forgot the guy's name. Doodly something. Boss man Jack taught yep. us the importance of moderation. That sometimes there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. And in the 48 Laws of Power, there is a verse called Know When to Quit. Poor boobly dot Bozeman Jack should learn from that. But then again, Fluffy, did you eat shit? Oh, you smell terrible. Get out of here, dog. What's this? Kool-Aid girl. We're going to off Kool-Aid girl tonight. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for coming out. Disgusting, Fluffy. Bad dog. What the, what the fuck, Fluffy? This, oh, 1195? Oh. You can't afford 1195? What's your problem? Kool-Aid girl, my only love. Kool-Aid girl, my only love. Juice on your lips, and it's dripping on your hips. Put my Shut girl up, yeah. in jail for so long. She did nothing wrong. I want you free, and I'm begging to the skies above. Shout out to Kool-Aid girl, girl, my only. Job. Yeah, Kool-Aid girl, my only love. If I was that guy from the farming website. I'll treat you right, clap those cheeks all night. I would change your life. No more only fans. I will if you be wanna see her only later man. on, you gotta go to the top for life. Pick up Blake only for eleven ninety-five. No more living in a van. We're going on vacation in Japan. And you can use my hot tub Kool-Aid girl, my only Kool-Aid girl, my only love Juice on your lips And it's dripping on your hips Put my girl in jail for so long She did nothing wrong I want you free And I'm begging to the skies above Kool-Aid girl, my only my only juice on your lip and it's dripping on your hips put my girl in jail for so long she did nothing wrong i want you free and i'm begging to the skies above cool and girl my only cool and girl my only cool and girl my only love Kool-Aid girl, my only love.